Welcome to the fantasy audiobook. The end of the world. Obtain a fishing system and chaos god thunder at the start. Chapter 61. Some people are holding iron pots, some are holding steel pipes. Everyone waited anxiously. Li Jiandong directed everyone to move the debris from the door. Then, we're ready to start. He opened the door a little and said to the little fat man fiercely. Quick, get out. The little fat man's body was shaking and he didn't dare to go out. Li Jiandong immediately put the kitchen knife across the little fat man's neck. Come out, you have hope of survival. If you don't, I will kill you immediately. The little fat man glanced at the kitchen knife, gritted his teeth and rushed out. Run, run, run. The little fat man felt that he had never run so fast. It's like there's wind under your feet. Several zombies were attracted by it and began to rush towards the little fat man. When the little fat man saw this, he ran faster. At this moment, a hint of cruelty flashed in Li Jiandong's eyes. He raised his arms and threw the rolling pin in his hand. The rolling pin formed a parabola in the air. There was a pop sound, hitting the little fat man right in the back. Ah, the little fat man was hit by the rolling pin and fell to the ground. The pain made him scream out. Ho ho ho. Seeing the little fat man fall to the ground, Several zombies chasing him quickly pounced on him. Facing the ferocious zombies, the little fat man looked desperate. No, do not want. Don't come over here. The zombies didn't listen to him. They opened their bloody mouths, waved their sharp claws, and swarmed forward. Poof, the little fat man's chest was cut open, and screams kept coming. Ah, help. Seeing how miserable the little fat man was, Li Jiandong's eyes lit up and he gave the order. Everyone, this is now. Rush. Wow, everyone rushed out in a rush. Li Jiandong also dragged Nan Rian and ran for his life. Not all zombies are attracted by the little fat man. There were also several zombies charging towards the crowd. Some unlucky ones were stopped by zombies and could only watch helplessly as the zombies tore their bodies apart and screamed in agony. The remaining people wished that their parents had given them less legs, so they ran as fast as they could. The young man with a flat head held a kitchen knife in his hand and pulled the secretary in black stockings and ran all the way. But soon, a zombie followed behind them. Because the woman's speed was a bit slow, the distance between the zombies and the two of them was getting closer and closer. Seeing that the zombies were about to catch up, the secretary in black stockings suddenly pushed the young man next to him towards the zombies. The flat-headed young man looked at her in disbelief, his body constantly being bitten by zombies. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry. I want to live. The secretary in black stockings apologized with tears in her eyes. The young man with a flat head gritted his teeth and slashed a finger of the zombie away with his backhand. What a coincidence, it happened to fall on the head of the woman with black stockings. The woman was so frightened that she thought she was going to feed the zombies. Turning around, he saw that the young man was fighting with zombies, Xiao Wei, run quickly. The woman was ecstatic and ran for her life without looking back. The boy with a flat head quickly lost his breath. The other side, Li Jiandong and Nan Rian also ran very fast. But there was a man who ran faster than them. It was the man who had echoed Li Jiandong before. Three people, running for their lives. One turn. A zombie was wandering towards them. The three of them were stunned. Li Jiandong made a quick decision and kicked the middle-aged man in the back. Kicked the man into the zombie's arms. When the zombie saw the food in his arms, he grinned happily, lowered his head and took a bite. Broken throat. Li Jiandong, you must die a good death. The middle-aged man cursed in despair. Li Jiandong also ignored him. As the saying goes, a dead Taoist friend will never die if he is a poor Taoist. How can I run unless you die? Li Jiandong and Nan Rian continued to run away. But the next moment, two more zombies appeared in front. The two of them felt their hearts sink. Look back. At some point behind them, a zombie also ran up and was staring at them. Li Jiandong and Nan Rian felt despair in their hearts. At this moment, Nan Rian shouted in surprise. There is a room here and the door is unlocked. Li Jiandong raised his eyes and was immediately ecstatic. There really is a door. Not caring so much, the two of them hid in the room in a dangerous way just as the zombies were about to pounce on them reflexively lock the door. Listen to the zombies smashing the door crazily. Li Jiandong's face was full of ecstasy. 
Ha ha ha, I survived. Nan Ryan's chest could not help but rise and fall, and she was breathing heavily. His face was filled with joy of surviving the disaster. Look around. The two of them were even more surprised to find that this was a presidential suite. No one lived in it, and naturally there were no zombies. Li Jiandong, thank you. Thank you for saving me again. Nan Ryan said with grateful eyes. If Li Jiandong hadn't led her away, she would have fallen behind and fed the zombies. Li Jiandong looked at Nan Ryan's rising and falling chest and swallowed hard. Manager Nan, what words are you talking about? I saved you, isn't that what I should do? Nan Ryan looked at his malicious look, subconsciously took a step back, and smiled awkwardly. Quick, look for something to eat. Li Jiandong also looked around. There's food, there's some in the refrigerator too. The two of them searched and harvested a lot. As expected of the presidential suite, this refrigerator has quite a lot of stuff. Li Jiandong looked greedy. They found more than 10 bottles of drinks, 7 or 8 bags of potato chips, and various snacks. There are several plates of fruit on the table. Although not very fresh, most of them are not rotten. If you save some of these things, they will be enough for the two of us to eat for a few days. The two of them were already hungry, their chests pressed against their backs, and they immediately started eating. After eating snacks, the two of them gradually got rid of their hunger. Nan Ryan took out her mobile phone and clicked to view the message. The next moment, she couldn't believe her eyes. She couldn't help but rub them again and check again. It's not an illusion, it's real. The message was sent by Nan Xian. Nan Xian, Auntie, are you still alive? Nan Xian, Auntie, I have been rescued. My boyfriend Yi Feng is a powerful supernatural being. Nan Ryan replied immediately, I'm still alive, can you come and save me? After a while, news came back. Nan Xian, Yi Feng agreed, he and I will come to rescue you right away. Nan Ryan was ecstatic, immediately send the detailed address to Nan Xian. Then he sent several messages in succession, telling Nan Xian how dangerous her situation was. With confidence in her heart, Nan Ryan felt a little relieved. She took a pack of biscuits and was about to continue eating. But what she didn't expect was that a pair of big hands suddenly snatched the cookies away from her hand. Nan Ryan looked up in shock. The person who snatched her cookies was none other than Li Jiandong. Nan Ryan suddenly had a bad feeling in her heart. What are you doing? Nan Ryan forced a smile. What? Li Jiandong's lips raised slightly. Nan Ryan, since the end of the world, I have been completely benevolent and righteous to you, right? I saved you at least twice. An inexplicable smile appeared on his face. Although I am a bodyguard and driver, after all, I only get paid to do things. In this case, it has gone far beyond the duties of a bodyguard, don't you think? Hearing Li Jiandong's words, Nan Ryan's face changed slightly. I know, Li Jiandong. So I am very, very grateful to you. I want to repay you with money. I know money is nothing now, but I really don't know what else can express my gratitude to you. Nan Ryan spoke sincerely. Li Jiandong interrupted her. No, you know it. You know what you can do to thank me. Li Jiandong greedily swept over Nan Ryan's delicate body. The slightly messy hair and slightly chapped cherry lips could not cover up Nan Ryan's beautiful appearance. The tight suit and the bulging shirt underneath are enough to show how huge the pair of stalwarts inside are. Not to mention those long, white and straight legs, and those plump and round buttocks. The flavor of the ripe peach made Li Jiandong, who was full, feel ready to move. Nan Ryan noticed Li Jiandong's aggressive gaze and forced a smile, I. I don't quite understand what you are talking about. Let me tell you clearly that the food here belongs to me and you are not allowed to eat it anymore. Why? Nan Ryan asked subconsciously. Because I am stronger than you. Li Jiandong looked proud. Look at what's going on now, I don't need to say anything more. It's so dangerous outside, you have to find someone to rely on. I am your most suitable candidate. Li Jiandong grinned. Manager Nan, I have actually liked you for a long time. You have appeared in my dreams countless times. Your charm fascinates me. If I didn't like you so much, how could I try my best to save you? Nan Ryan's lips moved, not knowing what to say. Now, we don't know how long we can survive. How about we enjoy it in time? Li Jiandong showed a lewd expression. Nan Ryan took a step back and forced a smile. 
Li Jiandong, don't be like this, I'm scared. Hearing Nan Rian say this, Li Jiandong narrowed his eyes slightly and said, What are you afraid of? Can I still eat you? Nan Rian said cautiously. In this case, can you give me time to think about it, okay? You were so sudden, I couldn't accept it for a while. Li Jiandong nodded in agreement. She couldn't run away anyway. A cooked duck can still fly. Okay, but from now on, you can't eat, because everything in this room belongs to me. Nan Rian nodded and didn't say much. Li Jiandong sat next to her, took a deep breath, and showed a perverted smile. He continued to babble in his mouth. To be honest, I actually quite like this apocalypse. When I was working as a bodyguard, I sometimes thought, the end of the world is coming soon. If it weren't for this apocalypse, how could I have the chance, to have such a wonderful woman like you? Nan Rian forced a smile and nodded in agreement. After waiting for a moment, Li Jiandong suddenly said, By the way, give me your mobile phone too. I don't want you to continue to have contact with the outside world. Nan Rian was shocked and subconsciously refused. There's no need for this. There's no point in contacting the outside world now. Leave me a mobile phone so I can watch videos to relieve my boredom. Li Jiandong glanced at her suspiciously. Nan Xian is strong and calm. Li Jiandong seemed to have thought of something, raised his head slightly and stared at Nan Rian. Give me your phone. Nan Rian's face looked a little ugly and she didn't know what to do. She subconsciously held the phone tightly, her body a little stiff. Li Jiandong sneered and reached out to grab Nan Rian's cell phone. Flip through quickly. As he continued to read the news, his face became increasingly ugly. At the end, Li Jiandong's face was ashen. You fool. You actually, you actually found a man to save you. You also said that you were in danger and that I was in danger. Li Jiandong's eyes widened and were bloodshot. No, no, that's not what I meant. Nan Rian explained in a panic. Li Jiandong ignored her and lowered his head to edit a message. Xi'an, I found that I was bitten by a zombie during my escape just now. You don't have to come to save me anymore. Protect yourself, pay attention to safety, and survive for me. Click send. Then Li Jiandong said slowly and with cold eyes. I just told them that you have turned into a zombie. It is so dangerous outside and they will not come to save you again. Stop dreaming about someone with superpowers coming to save you. You should still commit yourself to me honestly, and I will definitely love you well. Hearing this, Nan Rian's expression immediately changed. No, no, how could you do this? Quick, give me your phone back. Nan Rian subconsciously reached out to snatch the phone. Seeing Nan Rian react like this, Li Jiandong's face became even more ugly. I'm no longer worthy of you. Li Jiandong flew into a rage and slammed his phone on the ground. With a pop, the screen of the mobile phone was shattered and the body was covered with cracks. Li Jiandong still couldn't understand his hatred, so he stepped on it with all his strength, smashing the phone into pieces and no longer emitting light. When Nan Rian saw that her phone was damaged, her pretty face turned pale instantly and her eyes lost their luster. It's over. But soon she thought of something again, a glimmer of hope rekindled in her heart, and she murmured to herself. Perhaps Xi'an will be willing to come over to confirm, maybe. Li Jiandong calmed down and said slowly, You have no hope now, and I'm not willing to keep waiting. Today, you must be my woman. You have to agree even if you agree, and you have to agree even if you don't agree. Nan Rian was unwilling to give up any hope, her mind changed quickly, and she said with a sincere face, Li Jiandong, calm down. In fact, waiting is the best choice for you. If no one comes to save me, you just have to wait a little longer and you won't suffer any loss at all. But if someone with superpowers comes to rescue me, you will be rescued too, right? Although you are treating me like this now, after all, you have saved me twice, and I will definitely repay you. I will never hate you for this, let alone tell anyone what happened just now. Li Jiandong narrowed his eyes slightly and did not accept her trick at all. Ha ha, woman, do you think I am a fool? At this point, I still want to delay time. I can't wait any longer. Saying this, Li Jiandong moved forward with a lewd smile and reached out to pull her suit jacket. Li Jiandong, can you wait any longer, please? Nan Rian begged and dodged desperately. Bang, bang, 
Li Jiandong pulled open Nan Rian's suit jacket so hard that several buttons couldn't bear it and burst open. Flying forward, just obey me. Ouch, Li Jiandong wailed. It turned out that Nan Rian kicked him directly between his legs. A wave of severe pain hit him, and Li Jiandong's face suddenly turned the color of pig liver. Take this opportunity. Nan Rian fled to the inner room of the presidential suite in a panic and quickly locked the door. After Li Jiandong calmed down, he became furious. He stepped forward and smashed the door wildly. Bang bang bang. He kept yelling and cursing. Open the door, smelly fool. When I break the door open, I will kill you to death. Nan Rian pressed her body against the door. At this moment, she was so flustered that she didn't know what to do. I can only pray silently in my heart. Xi'an, Yi Feng, will you, come. On the way, a cool silver RV is speeding. Inside the car, Yi Feng and Nan Xi'an both look bad. Nan Xi'an just learned that Nan Rian has turned into a zombie. Her beautiful eyes were red and she kept sobbing. Yi Feng stepped forward to comfort him. Xi'an, in this world, it's normal for things like this to happen. Don't be too sad. Nan Xi'an wiped away her tears and nodded. What I understand is that the gap is a bit big for a while. Yi Feng continued to comfort her a few more words. Nan Xi'an's condition has improved. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly, and he kept thinking in his heart. Since there is no need to go to Jinding Hotel, then go back to Longchang Dijing community and pick up Lin Xiaoxiao. Yi Feng thought so and ordered M. I. Li to change his destination. But suddenly, Yi Feng's heart palpitated. No logic, no message. It was purely from Yi Feng's intuition that he felt that something was wrong. Xi'an, show me your phone. Nan Xi'an handed over the phone with some confusion. Click on the screen. Yi Feng saw the chat messages between Nan Xi'an and Nan Rian. Nan Xi'an, Auntie, are you still alive? Nan Xi'an, Auntie, I have been rescued. My boyfriend Yi Feng is a powerful supernatural being. Quote dot 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 quote. Nan Rian, I'm still alive, can you come and save me? Quote dot 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 quote. Nan Xi'an, Yi Feng agreed, he and I will come to rescue you right away. Nan Rian, Xi'an, I just left the kitchen and fled to the presidential suite number 8001, chased by a group of zombies. Nan Rian, I am with my bodyguard Li Jiandong, and I just found some food. But I feel that I am still in danger, please come quickly. Quote dot 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 quote. Nan Rian, Xi'an, I found that I was bitten by a zombie during my escape just now. You don't need to save me anymore. Protect yourself, pay attention to safety, and survive for me. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly, and it seemed to make sense logically. But Yi Feng still felt something was wrong. Yi Feng thought for a while, looked up at Nan Xi'an, and said slowly, Xi'an, I think there is something fishy about this matter. Nan Rian may still be alive. When Nan Xi'an heard Yi Feng's words, surprise flashed in her eyes, and she said excitedly, Really? Yi Feng, you said my aunt is still alive. Yi Feng nodded and said seriously, I'm not sure, but since we've already set off, we'd better go over and confirm with our own eyes. It won't take long anyway. Yeah, Yi Feng, you're right. Nan Xi'an seemed to be grabbing a life-saving straw, then let's go there quickly. Hope flashed in Nan Xi'an's beautiful eyes. Yi Feng glanced down at the time and thought, we still have at least eight minutes until we arrive at Jinding Hotel. I don't know what the situation is like at your aunt's place. Yi Feng frowned and thought, is there, a faster way to get there? Yi Feng pondered for a moment and suddenly had an idea. He turned to Nan Xi'an and said, Xi'an, I have just bound you to the right to drive this RV. You can use autonomous driving and drive towards Jinding Hotel. Nan Xi'an was a little confused. She didn't know why Yi Feng said this, Yi Feng, what are you? M. I. Li, stop the car and open the door. Yi Feng acted resolutely. Okay, master. The crisp sound of the vehicle's smart rice grains sounded. The RV stopped suddenly and the door slowly opened. Yi Feng quickly got out of the car and said to Nan Xi'an, Xi'an, I'm worried that something has happened at your aunt's side. To be on the safe side, my speed is faster than the car, so I'll go first. While speaking, a small light blue scroll appeared in Yi Feng's hand. Temporary buff scroll. Now that he has been strengthened many times, Yi Feng's full running speed is no less than the speed of a touring car. 
Activating the temporary buff scroll can increase Yi Feng's movement speed 10 times. Yi Feng tore the scroll into pieces. The torn scroll instantly turned into a blue stream of light and poured into Yi Feng's body. For a moment, Yi Feng felt that his body was light and airy. His heart was filled with joy. My movement speed seems to be too fast. Immediately afterwards, Yi Feng tapped the ground with his toes, flew out, and disappeared from the spot. Nan Xian froze on the spot. Yi Feng. Dot why so fast? When she came to her senses, she immediately ordered M. I. Li to drive towards the Jinding Hotel. Yi Feng was like a black lightning, running wildly. The howling wind blew past his ears. Countless buildings continued to extend backwards, and the sound of air bursting continued to be heard. My movement speed increased dramatically. Yi Feng looked happy. At this moment, his speed was close to the speed of sound. There are only afterimages left in the air. Jinding Hotel. In the suite on the eighth floor, Li Jiandong, who was hit in a vital point, completely went berserk. He frantically smashed the door with tables, chairs and benches. Bang bang bang. His eyes were bloodshot, like a madman roaring. Open the door. Otherwise, wait until I open the door and see how I deal with you. Nan Ryan inside the door could not help but tremble. She didn't have any good ideas. I could only subconsciously hold on to the door. Bang, bang. As Li Jiandong kept banging on the door, the door lock in the suite continued to deform and crack. Not long after, only a bang was heard. The bedroom door bursts open. Nan Ryan suddenly fell to the ground. I'm going to kill you. Li Jiandong held a kitchen knife and said viciously. At this moment, Nan Ryan felt as cold as if she had fallen into an ice cellar. Li Jiandong stepped forward with a cruel smile and gave her a big mouth without saying a word. Snapped. A clear red handprint fell on Nan Ryan's beautiful face. Li Jiandong, please don't be like this, okay? This slap made Nan Ryan burst into tears and she could only keep begging. You still have illusions, don't you? Still waiting for rescue, right? Li Jiandong had a lewd smile on his face. Let's not talk about the so-called superpower. After knowing that you turned into a zombie, you will definitely not come back. Even if he is planning to come over for a visit, will he come so quickly? Before he comes, I will have finished my work long ago. Li Jiandong looked greedily at Nan Ryan sitting on the ground. This posture vividly displays Nan Ryan's slender legs and plump buttocks. It's really awesome. He raised the kitchen knife and placed it across Nan Ryan's snow white neck. If you dare to move, I will chop off your head. Nan Ryan's expression was dull, and her heart sank to the bottom of the valley. Li Jiandong narrowed his eyes and was about to step forward to kiss Nan Ryan's pretty face. However, at this moment, a loud shout suddenly came from the distance. Court death. The sound shook the heaven and the earth, making Li Jiandong stunned on the spot. The next moment, a black figure broke through the window and with lightning speed, kicked Li Jiandong hard in the chest. There was a, whoosh, sound. Li Jiandong's body flew several meters away, hit the wall hard, and then slipped to the ground. He didn't understand what happened at all. He just felt as if he had been hit directly by a heavy truck. His internal organs were displaced, and he didn't know how many bones in his chest were broken. Lying on the ground like a dead dog. Li Jiandong lay on the ground like a dead dog, not knowing whether he was alive or dead. What a little genius I am, my judgment was absolutely correct. It seems to have arrived just in time. The person who came was dressed in black, with sharp eyebrows and starry eyes. It was Yi Feng. Nan Ryan looked a little dazed. What happened? Am I saved? Yi Feng glanced at Nan Ryan, and then couldn't move his eyes away, and couldn't help but secretly praise her in his heart. What a beauty! Nan Ryan was seen kneeling on the ground, wearing a white shirt, with extremely beautiful appearance and charming eyes. There was a clear red slap mark on her cheek. However, this did not affect her beauty too much, but instead added a bit of charm. She has black hair shawl, a snow white neck, and a curvy figure. What amazed Yi Feng the most was that there seemed to be two towering peaks on Nan Ryan's chest. The white shirt was stretched extremely tight, as if it was about to burst out at the next moment. Yi Feng's eyes showed appreciation. In addition, there is also her plump and round buttocks that cannot be hidden by a pair of trousers. Her current posture just exposes them, which is extremely eye-catching. 
Yi Fang walked forward quickly, smiled and gently helped Nan Rian up. I am Yi Fang. Are you okay, Nan Rian? Ems. Looking at her trembling and majestic chest, Yi Fang couldn't help but swallowed. No wonder that bodyguard is so excited. Do you use this to test men? Which man can withstand such a test? Nan Rian looked at Yi Fang blankly. For a moment, I just felt as if I was in a dream. Was it the handsome man in black with sharp eyebrows and starry eyes who saved him? At the last moment, at the critical moment, he was like a divine soldier, saving himself from the fire and water. For a moment, Nan Rian's whole body was heating up. It's incredible, I'm not dreaming, Nan Rian muttered to herself. She still couldn't believe it. Of course you're not dreaming. Yi Feng smiled heartily. I am Yi Feng, and I am entrusted by Nan Xian to come to save you. Now it seems that it should have arrived in time. Now you are safe, extremely safe, no one can hurt you again. Nan Rian raised her head and looked at Yi Feng blankly. The man in front of him was tall, mighty, extremely handsome, like a god, and his whole body seemed to be bathed in golden light. The most important thing is that I feel that he has a strange charm. Nan Rian's heart was pounding, and she didn't know what to say for a moment. Seeing Nan Rian not speaking, just looking at him blankly, Yi Feng frowned slightly and thought to himself. Why do you feel so stupid? I'll go, I won't be late. Quote dot dot dot. The clothes look neat, but they don't look like it. Are you poisoned? So Yi Feng cleared his throat again and said, My name is Yi Feng, and I was asked by Nan Xian to save you. How are you doing now? Are you okay? At this time, Nan Rian came back to her senses, a blush immediately appeared on her beautiful cheeks, and she said quickly, Ah, I'm fine, I didn't suffer any injuries. Fortunately, you came in time. Thank you, thank you very much. Yi Feng smiled slightly and took a closer look at the slap mark on Nan Rian's cheek. Look, you're not hurt. How can you say you're fine? Yi Feng raised his head and glanced at the man still lying on the ground, and said slowly. This beast dares to hit you. He is really nothing. Nan Rian also glanced at Li Jiandong and said with an inexplicable expression, Is he, dead? Yi Feng replied, I spared his life, but with his injuries, he is about to die. Do you need me to help you kill him? When Nan Rian heard this, her eyes were complicated and she sighed slightly. I didn't expect that he would be this kind of person. But, he saved me twice after all, so now it's even. Leave him alone and let him fend for himself. It's basically impossible for him to survive anyway. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly but he said no more. Nan Rian looked around again, hesitated and said. Where's Xi'an? Didn't she say she came together? Yi Feng smiled and said, I judged that you were in danger, so I rushed here first. Nan Xi'an is still on the way. Ah, Nan Rian was slightly startled and said, then will she be in danger? Don't worry, she is safe. Yi Feng replied, the defense of the modified RV is extremely high. Yi Feng looked around again and said, if there's nothing wrong with you, let's go. I'll take you to see Nan Xi'an. Yes, Nan Rian nodded. But before that, I can treat your injury. Yi Feng said again. Seeing Nan Rian's somewhat confused expression, Yi Feng raised his hand and caressed Nan Rian's pretty face. Nan Rian's pretty face turned red. Oh my god, what is he going to do? Should I avoid? Buzz. A white light emitted from Yi Feng's hand, under Nan Rian's shocked eyes. Kong Nan Rian's pretty face blended in and spread all over her body. A feeling of relief spread throughout her body, and Nan Rian couldn't help but groan. I just felt like my whole body was shaken. The body is quickly filled with vitality and the whole body is full of energy. Not only that, the palm marks on her pretty face also dissipated a lot. Nan Rian's beautiful eyes were full of surprise. It's amazing, is this a superpower? Yi Feng smiled and nodded. This is a divine blessing. Now, let's get out of here. Yi Feng took Nan Rian's weak, boneless hand. Nan Rian's pretty face was slightly red, but she didn't struggle. Under the leadership of Yi Feng, the two came to the window. Yi Feng stretched out a hand and hugged Nan Rian's waist. Facing Nan Rian's questioning eyes. I'm going to jump from here, so you have to hold my waist and don't fall down. Nan Rian was shocked. Jump from the eighth floor. But then I thought about it, and it seemed that Yi Feng also came through the window. 
Moreover, he is also a person with superpowers, so he must be quite capable. Nan Rian stopped asking any more questions. Somewhat embarrassed, he stretched out his two jade hands and hugged Yi Feng's waist. The two of them just hugged each other. Nan Rian put her head against Yi Feng's chest, her eyes slightly intoxicated. Yi Feng said softly, Hold on, we are about to jump. The moment he jumped, Yi Feng deliberately adjusted the angle and flicked his finger at a position where Nan Rian could not see. A flash of lightning suddenly appeared. Boom, the terrifying electric arc hit Li Jiandong instantly. Li Jiandong immediately groaned and turned into powder. He could not die anymore. Cutting the grass and eradicating the roots has always been Yi Feng's style of doing things. After all, when the end comes, anything is possible. Even though Li Jiandong was seriously injured and dying, he might awaken his superpower in the next moment, resurrect with full health, and seek revenge on him. Even if he can't beat himself, it is still a very disgusting thing to plot against him in secret, or attack his own woman. The sound of wind echoed in Nan Rian's ears. As Yi Feng fell, he kept tapping the outer wall of the building with his toes to offset gravity. Soon the two landed safely. Nan Rian felt the masculine aura on Yi Feng's body, and felt full of security in her heart. Yi Feng is like a magic weapon descending from heaven to save her. It has been firmly carved in the bottom of Nan Rian's heart that can never be erased. Nan Rian reluctantly let go of Yi Feng. Yi Feng took out his cell phone and took a look. Thinking to himself, I moved too fast, the battle process was too fast, and the M.I. Li RV hadn't come over yet. Yi Feng said to Nan Rian, I wonder what I should call you. Yi, Mr. Yi, just call me Nan Rian. Nan Rian said, No need to be so polite, just call me Yi Feng. There are still five minutes before Nan Xian will drive to pick us up, so we still need to wait for a while. Yi Feng said to Nan Rian, Just make your decision, I will listen to you in everything. Nan Rian said. Yi Feng nodded took Nan Rian into the first floor of the hotel, and found a safe place to rest. Yi Feng clicked on the panel to check the task completion progress. Daily Mission. Kill 40 Zombies. Task Reward. 40 Pieces of Fishing Bait. Task Status. Completed. Yi Feng was slightly startled. What happened? The daily mission was completed. Yi Feng looked at the random mission again. Random Mission. Kill 100 Zombies. Task Reward. 10 high-level fishing baits, opening the permission to synthesize fish baits. Task status, 47 one hundredths. When did I kill these zombies? Yi Feng thought for a moment and suddenly realized. It turns out that the zombies killed by his RV are also included in the statistics of the mission. Yi Feng's RV comes with a built-in obstacle removal function. Along the way, I don't know how many zombies were knocked away. Of course there were many zombies, but they were not killed. However, counting only the zombies killed, the number reached 47. Really good. Yi Feng smiled slightly. He immediately clicked to receive the daily task reward. With the system prompt tone. Tip. Congratulations to the host for getting 40 pieces of bait. Yi Feng directly received 40 pieces of bait. While Yi Feng was delighted, he also became more interested in high-end fishing baits. There are still 53 zombies left to complete the random mission. Five minutes is almost enough. Why not take advantage of now and complete the random mission? Thinking of this, Yi Feng decided to start cleaning up the zombies in the Jinding Hotel. It has always been safer to clean up zombies in buildings. You can use the terrain to kill without causing siege by zombies. On the other hand, if you kill too many zombies in an open place, it will easily form a zombie tide. Once the zombie tide forms, there will be a steady stream of zombies coming towards you one after another. Yi Feng in his previous life was very afraid of this. However, the current level of zombies is relatively low, and Yi Feng is extremely powerful and is not afraid at all. But he is not afraid, but if there is a drag bottle, it will be different. So choosing to clean up the zombies in the hotel is the best choice. I want to kill some zombies, just stay with me. Yi Feng turned to Nan Rian and said. Nan Rian didn't understand, but nodded anyway. Yi Feng took out the pistol from the space. Start clearing the zombies layer by layer. There were about 20 zombies on the first floor of the hotel. Bang 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 bang. Yi Feng's technique is steady and his shooting skills are fast. Not a bullet was wasted. 
Every time a gunshot rang out, a zombie fell to the ground. Headshot with a gun. Seeing Yi Feng kill these terrifying zombies as easily as mowing grass. Nan Ryan was extremely shocked. Yi Feng is actually a sharpshooter, amazing. Facing the hotel rooms, Yi Feng searched them one by one. There are zombies hidden in some guest rooms. After cleaning up the zombies, Yi Feng didn't let go of the items in the hotel. A thought came to my mind. Bed, small refrigerator, TV, mineral water. All of them were taken into space by Yi Feng. As the saying goes, the goose is too plucking its hair. Everywhere Yi Feng goes, he will subconsciously collect something. Anyway, the space is infinite, so you can collect it as you like. Just in case you need it later. After all, these modern products will become less and less popular in the future. Even though these things are well preserved now, in a year or two, you won't be able to collect them even if you want to. Since Yi Feng encountered it, of course he took it away without any ceremony. This scene once again shocked Nan Ryan. She couldn't help but rub her eyes. Disappeared. Really everything disappeared. Yi Feng glanced at Nan Ryan's shocked expression. Just a faint sentence. This is my ability, you will know it later. Nan Ryan's eyes flashed. What else could Yi Feng not know? Mystery. Yi Feng went down one level at a time and quickly reached the third level. After killing the zombies in the corridor, he searched six rooms in succession. The number of zombies killed also reached more than 50. Counting the previous cumulative number, Yi Feng's random mission is about to be completed. Bang bang bang, Yi Feng came to another room. In the room, there was a family of three zombies, two older and one younger. Yi Feng fired several shots. Bang bang bang, three zombies fell to the ground. Yi Feng smiled and clicked to view the task details. Random mission. Kill 100 zombies. Task reward. 10 high-level fishing baits, opening the permission to synthesize fish baits. Task status. Completed. Finished. Yi Feng was slightly happy and walked out of the room, about to leave with Nan Ryan. At this moment, a woman suddenly ran out of the stairwell. The woman has a beautiful appearance and beautiful legs in black stockings. She was attracted by the sound of gunfire. After seeing Yi Feng, he asked excitedly, Are you a rescue worker? Then she looked at Nan Ryan in astonishment and couldn't help but exclaimed, It's you. Nan Ryan looked at her and recognized her identity. It was the administrative secretary who was trapped on the eighth floor with Nan Ryan. The woman looked ecstatic and ran towards Yi Feng. You must be a rescuer, hurry up, rescue me quickly. Seeing the woman in black stockings rushing toward him, Yi Feng calmly raised his gun. The woman suddenly stopped in shock, with a puzzled look on her face. I'm not a rescuer, I'm a survivor like you. Yi Feng shook his head. The woman's eyes widened with excitement, obviously unable to accept it, no, no. But she quickly reacted and began to plead, please help me. Save you. Yi Feng glanced at him and shook his head subconsciously, if I don't save you, what are you worth? The woman was a little confused, I, my value. Yi Feng shook his head and turned around to leave. The woman was anxious and begged her like a barrage. Please don't leave, take me with you. Manager Nan and I are together, why can she stay with you? Manager Nan, please help me and tell me. Yi Feng was stunned, then turned to look at Nan Ryan, do you know her? Nan Ryan nodded slightly with a complicated expression. She is the administrative secretary of one of our cooperative companies, but we only know her. Yi Feng suddenly understood, looked at the woman in black stockings, shook his head and refused. She is my friend, and I came here specifically to save her. When the woman heard Yi Feng say this, her face turned pale. Clenching his silver teeth, he knelt on the ground with a plop. Please, please take me away. My value is my body. You can take her away without losing me. I can do anything, as long as I can survive. Yi Feng looked her up and down. She had beautiful legs with black stockings and a pretty face. She was considered a beauty. However, compared with Lin Xiaoxiao, Nan Ryan, Nan Xian and others, they are still far behind. His appetite has been spoiled. And from the perspective of malicious perception, there seems to be something wrong with the woman in front of me. Thinking of this, Yi Feng simply shook his head and refused. You know the world today, I don't bring any burden, your body is worthless to me. 
When the woman in black stockings heard this, her expression was dull and her delicate body was trembling. Nan Ryan also looked complicated. Yi Feng's rejection made Nan Ryan think of herself. She had nothing to do with Yi Feng. It was purely because of Nan Xian that Yi Feng came to save himself. So in fact, she is no different from the secretary in black stockings in front of her. He is a burden around Yi Feng. Next to Yi Feng, he had to be distracted at all times to protect himself. What value do you have to him? Nan Ryan's eyes moved slightly, not knowing what she was thinking. Seeing that Yi Feng was hard-hearted, the woman turned around and began to beg Nan Ryan. Manager Nan, I am your friend. Please say something for me. If you leave me here, I will really die. Nan Ryan looked directly at her with a complicated expression, and finally shook her head slowly. I saw, I saw the scene when you pushed the crew-cut young man down. Hearing this, the woman's delicate body trembled as if struck by lightning. No, I didn't, I didn't push him. If he doesn't die, I will die. I have no choice. Dot you have to understand me. At this moment, Yi Feng's phone vibrated slightly. Yi Feng took out his mobile phone and clicked on it. It was the news from Nan Xian. She had already driven her RV to the door of Jinding Hotel. Xian has arrived, let's go. Yi Feng turned to Nan Ryan and said. Nan Ryan looked surprised, great, let's go quickly. Yi Feng took Nan Ryan and turned around to leave. Seeing that they were about to leave, a trace of resentment flashed in the eyes of the woman with black stockings. Nan Ryan, why can you live? Am I going to die? Why do you have someone to protect you, but I can only rely on myself? By the way, I still have that. The woman in black stockings took out a zombie finger. You are unkind, so don't blame me for being unjust, the woman in black stockings muttered to herself. Manager Nan, please wait a moment, I have a secret to tell you, the secretary in black silk stockings said quickly. Nan Ryan turned around in surprise. The secret can only be told to one person. The secretary in black stockings quickly approached Nan Ryan, then took the object in her hand and stabbed her wrist fiercely. Nan Ryan, you should become a zombie too. A flash of excitement flashed in the eyes of the woman with black stockings. Go to hell. Just when she felt she was about to succeed, a pair of big hands suddenly appeared and knocked the zombie's fingers to the ground. Then he grabbed her neck tightly and lifted her into the air. It was Yi Feng who took action and stopped her actions. Nan Ryan only came back to her senses at this moment. Yi Feng glanced at the thing on the ground and said softly, it's zombie fingers. Hearing this, Nan Ryan was so frightened that her face turned pale. With a frightened look on her face, she pointed at the woman and cursed angrily, you woman, why are you so vicious? The woman in black stockings looked unwilling, kicked her legs wildly, and struggled desperately, I, I am so unwilling. Yi Feng pressed his fingers hard. Click, the woman's eyes turned white, her neck broke, and she died. Yi Feng threw the body on the ground indifferently. Well done. Nan Ryan looked angry, her body trembling a little. Yi Feng took her hand and said softly, don't pay attention to this kind of people. The vehicles are already in place, let's go. Yi Feng and Nan Ryan walked out of Jinding Hotel. A cool silver white RV has been parked in front of the hotel. This silver RV is so handsome. Nan Ryan was amazed. She is also well informed, but in her impression, Blue Star does not seem to have such a brand of RV. Yi Feng took Nan Ryan into the car. Entering the interior of the RV, Nan Ryan was even more shocked. The appearance of the RV already looks very awesome. But she never expected that the functions and interiors inside would be even more awesome. Not to mention anything else, the space was much more spacious than she had imagined. Looking from the outside, this car shouldn't have such a big space anyway. Nan Ryan didn't understand and was shocked. Not only is the space large enough, it also has all the facilities that a regular RV should have. It also has functions that ordinary RVs don't have. It is completely a walking super mansion. At this moment, Nan Xian rushed over. Aunt, Auntie, you are really still alive. Nan Ryan was equally excited and burst into tears, Xian, I finally see you. She hugged Nan Xian with her backhand. When the two girls met at the top, they hugged each other and cried for a while. Yi Feng, who was beside him, also smiled happily. But there was one thing he didn't quite understand. Although they are obviously related by blood, 
why is there such a huge difference in scale? F and B are too different. I saw the two women starting to vent their emotions and chatting non-stop. Yi Feng thought. Daily missions and random missions have been completed. Yi Feng clicks to receive the mission reward. The system prompt sounds. Tip. Congratulations to the host for getting 40 pieces of bait. Tip. Congratulations to the host for obtaining 10 copies of advanced fishing bait. Tip. Congratulations to the host for opening the permission to synthesize fish bait. Yi Feng studied it. It didn't take long to figure out what the new features were. To put it simply, if Yi Feng uses high-level bait for fishing, it will be easier to obtain high-level items. Fishing bait synthesis permission allows you to combine 10 ordinary fishing baits into one advanced fishing bait. It takes 10 parts of ordinary fishing bait to make one high-grade fishing bait. It's too expensive. We still have to take a look at the fishing effect of high-end bait. It happened that a random mission rewarded Yi Feng with 10 high-level fishing baits. Yi Feng immediately decided to go fishing and test the quality of the high-end bait. System, let's do 5 advanced fishing trips first. Tip, fishing in progress. Yi Feng's eyes were filled with anticipation. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting a high-definition DVD plus one of the movie, One Record to the West. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting 300 grams plus one bag of Mongolian yak jerky. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting plus one bottle of magical spray. Another bottle of long-lasting spray. Yi Feng's heart moved. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting plus one copy of Yang Simin's high study DVD collection of Silver Lotus Plum. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting plus one bottle of Corpse Poison Immunity Potion. Five fishing sessions over. Yi Feng showed disappointment. That's it. Not counting the two DVDs and beef jerky, Yi Feng's five advanced fishing trips this time only yielded one bottle of magical spray and one bottle of corpse poison immunity potion. Although both of these things are quite useful. Dot but they were caught with five high-grade baits. If you use ordinary fishing bait to synthesize it, it will be 50 baits. Using 50 baits, you can fish 50 times. How could Yi Feng only fish out this little thing? It's such a loss to use advanced fishing. You will lose everything. Yi Feng shook his head and stopped thinking about it. Start checking the loot. Needless to say, Yi Feng had obtained the magical potion before. At that time, he was still a little disgusted, but now Yi Feng can only say. So delicious. After all, there are more and more confidants. It just so happens that the spray we got last time is almost used up. Yi Feng happily put the magic spray away. Yi Feng looked at the newly acquired Corpse Poison Potion again. Item, Corpse Poison Immunity Potion. Quality, Rare. Description, After taking this potion, you will gain super immunity to the zombie virus and have no fear of infection. Those who have been infected can also obtain super immunity as long as they have not transformed into corpses. Yi Feng had obtained this medicine before. It can give people a state of super immunity to zombies. Even those who are infected by corpse poison can be assured of no worries as long as they drink the potion before the zombie transformation occurs. He had already used the bottle at that time. It's also a good thing to get a new bottle now. After all, Yi Feng already has several confidants. With such a bottle of potion in hand, he felt more at ease. After sorting out the harvest, Yi Feng clicked to check the number of baits. Bait, 40 servings. Advanced fishing bait, 5 servings. Yi Feng said silently in his heart. System, do advanced fishing five more times. Tip, fishing in progress. Yi Feng didn't have much hope either. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting an AK-47 firearm plus one. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting AK-47 firearms and bullets plus 10,000 rounds. Tip, Congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting plus one set of the Deaf Tribe series of books. Yi Feng was a little disappointed. Although firearms are useful, they are not what Yi Feng wants. At this moment, the system froze slightly. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly. According to experience, once you use it for too long, you may catch something good. At this moment, the system prompt sounded. Tip. Congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and obtaining the legendary skill, 
Thunder stands. Tip. Congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and obtaining a rare item, Flame Sea Ginseng Plus 1 copy. I'm sorry. Yi Feng was stunned for a moment, then became ecstatic. Shipped. After the storage space, Yi Feng successfully fished out the legendary skill, Thunder Stance. A golden legendary skill. Yi Feng immediately sank his mind into the fishing space. A source bead emitting golden light lay on the fishing platform. This is the legendary skill, Thunder Stance. Yi Feng immediately clicked to view the details. Skill, Thunder Stance. Quality, Legend. Description, Active Skill. After turning on Thunder Stance, your form will change slightly. Attributes such as attack, defense, speed, strength, etc. will all be greatly temporarily improved. Special description, the thunder posture will be enhanced according to your level and combat power. In addition, when your level reaches a certain level, you will unlock more powerful enhancement effects. A skill that greatly enhances combat power. It seems to be a growth transformation skill. What a skill. Yi Feng looked ecstatic. He immediately chose to extract skills. Whoosh. A skill source beat emitting golden light suddenly appeared in the air, and Yi Feng immediately stretched out his hand to poke it open. The two women next to him glanced at Yi Feng and then continued chatting. Yi Feng is too mysterious, and they are already used to it. The skill source bead turned into a golden stream of light and integrated into Yi Feng's body. Tip. Congratulations on learning the legendary skill, Thunder Stance. Tip. It is detected that you have mythical thunder attribute abilities, your skill strength will be greatly improved, and your thunder posture will be perfectly adapted and become a special skill. At the same time, a skill message appeared in Yi Feng's heart. The thunderous posture is blessed by the chaos divine thunder. It seems to have changed a lot, and the intensity has also increased to a higher level. Yi Feng was ecstatic inside. I wonder how powerful this legendary skill is. Since I'm in the car, it's not convenient to test my skills at the moment. Yi Feng had no choice but to hold back his excitement. High-end fishing bait. High-end fishing bait is the best thing. Yi Feng was filled with emotion. How many times did he fish using ordinary bait? Except for the three times he started fishing with the novice halo, Yi Feng has never fished out a legendary item. Use high-grade bait to fish, and you will have legendary fishing skills after just 10 times. What does this mean? Ordinary fishing bait is just garbage. Fishing with high-end bait is the correct way to open the system. Legendary skills, complete rare items and skills. There is absolutely no comparison. Yi Feng immediately made up his mind. From now on, he will only use high-end bait for fishing. Yi Feng continued to check the rare items he obtained. Item, Flame Si Jinsang. Quality, Rare. Description, Mutated Si Jinsang with Magical Power. After eating, it can enhance physical strength and gain plus 50 fire resistance. Good stuff too. Yi Feng immediately took out the Si Jinsang and took a bite. The fist-sized black Si Jinsang is crisp and refreshing. Yi Feng ate it up quickly. A wave of heat surged through the body. Physical strength increased again. Yi Feng felt happy. Becoming stronger again. Complete the receipt of goods. The system will combine all 40 of my ordinary fishing baits into high-level fishing baits. Yi Feng thought silently in his mind. The system immediately pops up an option. Tip. Do you want to confirm the synthesis? Yi Feng immediately clicked to confirm. Tip. Congratulations to the host for obtaining four pieces of advanced fishing bait. Obtained four more high-grade fishing baits. Yi Feng felt happy. He took a deep breath. System, advanced fishing four times. The golden fishing rod moved and the fish hook flew into the boundless darkness. Dear fairy sisters, please bless me to catch something good. The system prompt sounds. Tip, fishing in progress. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and obtaining a rare prop, plus one reconnaissance guard elf. Tip, congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and getting Tang Dao plus one box. Tip. Congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and obtaining an epic item, Power Awakening Potion plus one. Detection elves, and epic Power Awakening potions. Yi Feng felt happy. At this moment, the system paused slightly. Yi Feng's heart suddenly tightened. If the system freezes, it means something good is coming. Not long after, the system prompt sounded. Tip. Congratulations to the host for successfully fishing and obtaining a legendary item, 
God of War contract scroll plus one piece. I'm sorry, my luck is so good, too. Yi Feng looked ecstatic. Continuous shipments, an epic, a legend. It's cool. Yi Feng sinks his mind into the fishing space. Soon, he discovered the God of War contract suspended on the island. It was a contract scroll that exuded a pale golden light. There is also a potion that glows purple. Scrolls, and potions. Yi Feng immediately clicked to view the details of the scroll. Item, God of War contract scroll. Level, legendary. Description, the War God contract can be used to build a powerful fighting team. The first contractor is the God of War, and the life and death of the remaining contractors are controlled by the God of War, and they will always be loyal to the God of War in a subtle way. Tear up the scroll and automatically become the God of War. Special description, the God of War contract has one God of War position, 20 general positions, and 200 warrior positions. Contractors with different positions will receive different degrees of permanent strengthening effects at the beginning of the contract and enjoy the God of War team skills. War God Contract Yi Feng's heart was filled with shock. What a good thing, it is indeed a legendary item. Yi Feng licked his lips, his eyes showing excitement. By contracting to become the God of War, you can contract 200 warriors and 20 generals, and the life and death of these subordinates are under your control, and they will be extremely loyal to you. So cool. Yi Feng felt ecstatic and felt that the future was bright. Yi Feng did not hesitate and immediately chose to extract the God of War contract scroll. Whoa, a scroll with a golden shimmer appeared in front of Yi Feng. Yi Feng reached out to catch the God of War contract scroll. Just tear the scroll into pieces. The next moment, the scroll turned into a golden stream of light and rushed into Yi Feng's body. A touch of golden light emerged from inside Yi Feng's body. Yi Feng immediately felt that the powerful power of the contract was rapidly strengthening his physical energy. Strength, speed, defense, vision, reflexes, are all getting stronger in all aspects. Yi Feng felt very happy. Contractors will be strengthened by the power of the contract. The lord of the contract is the only god of war. The god of war has received the greatest enhancement. The general is next, and the warrior is second. Not long after, the strengthening ended and the golden light dissipated. Yi Feng's heart was filled with excitement. With the blessing of the god of war, he felt that he had become stronger again and his strength had skyrocketed. He couldn't wait to open the combat power panel. Combat power index 810. Combat power increased by more than 300 points. The corners of Yi Feng's mouth rose. At the same time, a message poured into Yi Feng's mind. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly, and he was ecstatic again. The God of War contract is more domineering than he imagined. After becoming a God of War, his God of War team will also gain God of War skills. There are three major skills in total, which can only be used once a day. The God of War has three team skills. 1. Blessing of the God of War. God of War, generals, and warriors will all receive this skill. Actively turning on the skill will give you a halo of the God of War's blessing that lasts for one hour. The effect of the halo temporarily increases combat power by a percentage. 2. The power of the God of War. Only the God of War and generals can obtain this skill, not warriors. When the contractor is seriously injured and on the verge of death, the power of the God of War will be automatically triggered to instantly heal the injury and restore a certain amount of combat ability. 3. The Wrath of the God of War. Only the God of War will obtain this skill. When this skill is activated, a fan-shaped shockwave will be launched directly forward, causing huge damage to enemies within a certain range. The specific power is determined by the combat power of the God of War. All are good skills. Yi Feng felt happy. After a while, Yi Feng's excitement gradually calmed down. During his fishing trip, he also harvested an epic awakening potion. Item, Power Awakening Potion. Quality, Epic Level. Description, A mysterious potion that can stimulate powers hidden deep in the human body. After taking this potion, you will definitely be able to awaken your supernatural powers. The quality of superpowers varies from person to person. A potion that helps people awaken their supernatural powers. Yi Feng felt happy. In his previous life, Yi Feng also heard that in addition to naturally awakening human powers, there is also a chance to awaken them by using some extraordinary treasures. But such treasures are extremely precious and will not be circulated on the market at all. 
Now he has in his hands a potion that can help people awaken their superpowers. So here's the question. Do you want to take this bottle of awakening potion yourself? Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly. What will be the reaction if you take it? Since he already has a superpower, this potion may be wasted. The greater possibility is that ordinary level abilities are awakened, strength enhancement. This was the ability in my previous life. Yi Feng shook his head. Ordinary level superpowers are too weak and will not help you improve your strength. Besides, there is still the possibility of awakening on one's own. If you are at odds with yourself, the problem is coming. Is it for Lin Xiaoxiao or Nan Xian? Yi Feng was a little embarrassed. After all, there is only one bottle of awakening potion. Both girls are good women, their palms and backs are full of flesh. Yi Feng thought for a while and put the power awakening potion into the storage space. How to deal with this thing will be discussed later. Yi Feng looked at the new props fished out. Item, Scouting Guardian Elf. Quality, Rare. Description, Consumables. After summoning this spirit, it will protect your safety within a hundred meters, detect the surrounding area and discover potential dangerous factors in a timely manner. Once there is a crisis that cannot be handled, the Elf Master will be notified as soon as possible. The spirit will last for 72 hours and then dissipate on its own. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly. This is also a good thing. In this crisis-ridden apocalypse, with this thing, you can relax your mind and rest peacefully. By the way, I also fished out a box of Tang knives. Yi Feng opened the box and found a total of 20 Tang knives inside. Item, Tang Dao. Quality, ordinary. Description, Tang Dao. The blade is sharp, suitable for fast fighting, and the quality is reliable. Not bad. Excellent quality knife. You must know that in the last days, having a handy weapon is also very important. And the knife is the most suitable for cutting zombies. But Yi Feng already has a better flame sword. This harvest is sorted out. For a moment, Yi Feng was in a good mood. Yi Feng hugged Nan Xian and kissed her hard. Nan Xian's cheeks were slightly red and she glanced at Nan Rian sheepishly. It's okay, just pretend I don't exist. Nan Rian smiled ambiguously, and a trace of envy flashed in her heart. Beauty Yi Feng is in her arms. Think silently about your next move. Maybe. I should get myself a territory. After all, the conditions in the dilapidated community in Longchang Dijing were really average. He should get himself a better manor villa. The living conditions should be good, safe enough, and preferably helpful for your future development. What place is suitable? While thinking, Yi Feng's eyes suddenly lit up. That place seems pretty good. In the last life, it caused many conflicts. Get it and use it as your basic base. The more Yi Feng thought about it, the more satisfied he became. Just then, the phone vibrated. Yi Feng lowered his head and saw that it was a message from Lin Xiaoxiao. The corners of Yi Feng's mouth raised slightly. Somehow, he remembered Lin Xiaoxiao's plump buttocks and her serious and beautiful face. Go get her in the car first. Thinking like this, Yi Feng clicked on the message on his mobile phone. Take a look at the content of the message. Yi Feng was stunned for a moment, then laughed angrily. What a good Lin Haoshan. This virtue is exactly the same as mine. Yi Feng's eyes flashed coldly. Lin Haoshan, you actually want to attack my woman. Just because of this, you are dead. Jesus can't save you, I'm telling you. Inside the RV. Yi Feng quickly browsed through the messages on his mobile phone, the owner group messages. Quickly figured out what was going on. Lin Haoshan is Yi Feng's downstairs neighbor, and he was lucky enough to awaken his superpower today. This guy is also a pervert. The first time he awakened his superpower, he didn't think about how to find food. Instead, he immediately thought of Lin Xiaoxiao who lived in the building. He contacted Lin Xiaoxiao directly and wanted her to be his woman. Lin Xiaoxiao had already followed Yi Feng, so she naturally refused unceremoniously. When Lin Haoshan heard this, of course he wouldn't do it. Lin Xiaoxiao is the most beautiful woman he has ever seen, how could he give up so easily? He immediately sent harsh words to the group. Lin Xiaoxiao belongs to him, and he will kill anyone who robs him. As for Lin Xiaoxiao's own opinion, it doesn't matter. Whether you like it or not. He, Lin Haoshan, wants to pluck the flower Lin Xiaoxiao. When Lin Xiaoxiao heard this, he realized that something was wrong. 
Ask Yi Fang for help immediately. That's probably what happened. Yi Fang felt a little depressed. In the last life, Lin Ho Shen didn't awaken his powers. What's going on? Butterfly effect. It seems that he needs to establish a territory as soon as possible to protect his woman. Yi Feng typed a reply to Lin Xiao Xiao. Xiao Xiao, you must protect yourself. I'm going back to Longchang Dijing community now, I'll be there soon. The RV started and headed towards Longchang Dijing. Yi Feng's abnormality naturally aroused the concern of Nan Xian and Nan Rian. Brother Yi Feng, what happened? Yi Feng slowly shook his head and said, it's no big deal, it's just a clown. Let's go pick up Xiao Xiao now. Yi Feng had already explained the existence of Lin Xiao Xiao to Nan Xian. The two women nodded. Vehicles are speeding. Yi Feng thought for a while. Decided to contact Lin Hoshin in advance. After all, this place is a bit far away from the Dragon City Emperor scenery. It takes about 20 minutes for the RV to travel at its maximum speed. 20 minutes is too long. What if Lin Hoshin is an activist? Ten times is enough. Yi Feng didn't dare to think about it. If the problem can be solved through communication, that would be even better. Soon, Yi Feng dialed Lin Hoshin's voice. Hello. A confident and arrogant voice came into his ears. Yi Feng couldn't help but frown. Talk about both ends. Longchang Dijing Community, 8th floor. Lin Hoshin was in the room, filled with ecstasy. Did not expect. He, Lin Hoshin, will one day become a person with powers. Yesterday, he saw with his own eyes how awesome the lightning-type superpowers were, which really stimulated him. Just today, just now, he suddenly awakened to supernatural powers. Rare level. Power goes crazy. This skill not only made his physical fitness instantly increase a lot. It also gave him a strength skill. After activating the skill, the strength is instantly increased five times, and the defense power and movement speed are also increased to a certain extent. But there are also disadvantages. After using the skill, you will fall into a slightly weak state and cannot be used again in the short term. But no matter what, Lin Hoshin has become a little superman. At least in this building, he should be able to do whatever he wants. After having superpowers, naturally, Lin Hoshin thought of power and women. Who is the woman closest to him? Lin Xiaoxiao, this superb woman. Those breasts, those legs, that ass. Lin Hoshin couldn't help but think about it. He immediately contacted Lin Xiaoxiao. Unexpectedly, he was severely rejected by Lin Xiaoxiao. This time, he couldn't lose face. Just say harsh words directly in the group. That fool actually rejected me. Watch how I deal with you and let you know how powerful I am as a superpower. When I think about how I can deal with Lin Xiaoxiao, Lin Hoshin had a lewd smile on his lips and decided to go upstairs immediately. Just as he was about to take action, Yi Feng's voice popped up. Lin Hoshin answered impatiently, Hey, who are you? Did you know that I had awakened my powers and came to take the initiative to be my little brother? I'm in a hurry, tell me your specialty and I'll think about it. Lin Hoshin said with an arrogant look, I'm Yi Feng, your neighbor on the 14th floor. Like you, I am also a person with superpowers, and I awakened earlier than you and am stronger than you. Lin Hoshin was surprised and said somewhat suspiciously. Really, why haven't I heard you say that? Yi Feng said in a deep voice. Don't worry about this. I'm here to inform you that Lin Xiaoxiao is already my woman. Give up some thoughts you shouldn't have, and we'll be fine. Otherwise, speaking of this, Yi Feng paused. Lin Hoshin smiled coldly and said, what else? Otherwise, today is the day you die. Unexpectedly, Lin Hoshin said jokingly, ha ha ha, you are so good at your acting. Do you think that my mind, Lin Hoshin's, is full of shit? Do you believe your rhetoric? I'm smart, you said you are a superpower. Do you think I will believe it? Do you know how precious superpowers are? We superpowers are all the chosen ones. How can there be two superpowers in one building? You are Lin Xiaoxiao's actor reinforcement, right? Lin Hoshin burst into laughter immediately. You don't believe that I am a superpower? Yi Feng frowned. Of course I won't believe it. Lin Hoshin said with a mocking look. If you awakened your superpower, would you refrain from talking about it in the group? Do you think everyone is as brainless as you? Yi Feng said helplessly. In my heart, I completely sentenced Lin Hoshin to death. 
Lin Haoshan continued to say arrogantly, taking a step back, so what if you are a superpower? Why do you say you are better than me? I am a rare level superpower. Come to me now and show me your skills. As long as you can defeat me, I will recognize you as my boss immediately. Yi Feng's heart moved. Wait for me, I will go there immediately. Lin Haoshan smiled confidently, it's a deal. Yi Feng breathed a sigh of relief and hung up the call. This idiot, fortunately, I was more skilled and was able to hold him back. A trace of coldness flashed in Yi Feng's eyes. Wait for me. See how I kill you. On the other side, Lin Haoshan waited and waited in the room. Ten minutes passed quickly. Yi Feng did not come. He shook his head and kept pacing in the living room. Suddenly, he slapped his head and came to his senses. Did I fall into a trap? I fell into the trap of an empty city. Lin Haoshan immediately called back. Line connected. Lin Haoshan couldn't wait to say, Boy, are you kidding me? Yi Feng frowned. Why did you say that? Lin Haoshan said coldly, You promised to arrive immediately. It's been ten minutes, and you haven't arrived yet. Yi Feng sneered, Are you so eager to seek death? I'll be there soon, just wait for me. Lin Haoshan laughed. A delaying tactic, right? You think I haven't read Sun Tzu's Art of War? I finally understand. You are a funny actor hired by Lin Xiaoxiao. I am so smart. Ha ha ha, I'm going to make Lin Xiaoxiao scream now. These few words made Yi Feng furious. You wait first. Wait for me for ten minutes and I will be there for you. When Lin Haoshan heard this, he smiled disdainfully. Okay, okay, I agree. Go find me on the bed at Lin Xiaoxiao's house. Ha ha ha. Lin Haoshan hung up the phone proudly and muttered disdainfully. Who are you trying to scare all day long? I'm so smart. There is no such thing as a person with powers like you. Thinking of Lin Xiaoxiao's attractive figure, Lin Haoshan couldn't hold himself back. He walked out the door boldly and high-spirited. This side, Yi Feng put down his phone and looked at him with evil eyes. The deception failed this time, the dog has a brain. Want to go home, must arrive immediately. However, there was still nearly 10 minutes to drive, and Yi Feng's running speed was not much faster than the RV. There are no more temporary speed scrolls. Yi Feng lowered his head and thought. Suddenly a flash of inspiration occurred and I had an idea. He turned back to Nan Xian and Nan Ryan and said. It's an emergency, I'll go first. Under the control of M.I. Li, the RV will automatically drive to Longcheng Dijing community. Nan Xian nodded to express her understanding. She was very familiar with this scene. It was such a scene just after saving Nan Ryan. Yi Feng ordered M.I. Li to open the car window and jumped out of the car. The next moment, Yi Feng activates the legendary skill in the air, Thunder Stance. Boom boom, chaos divine thunder energy continuously surged out of Yi Feng's body and quickly spread throughout his body. Yi Feng's body glowed with dazzling golden light, and his hair became wild, dancing with the electric arc. Crackling, Yi Feng's eyes gradually turned into a deep golden color, and his muscles bulged strong and strong. The whole body was covered with golden and gray thunder energy, and the vicissitudes of ancient aura spread all over Yi Feng's body. The golden light flashes and crackles. Yi Feng seems to be the god of thunder who stepped out of mythology. Majestic, powerful and mysterious. This scene immediately stunned Nan Xian and Nan Ryan. This is so handsome, Thor, Yi Feng looked around himself and nodded with satisfaction. Golden eyes, muscular man, surrounded by lightning. This feeling is invincible, and just as I thought, the strength and speed have been greatly improved. Hurry up. With a thought, Yi Feng disappeared instantly. Longcheng Dijing Community. Lin Haoshan quickly arrived at the 18th floor and started knocking on the door frantically. Baby, I'm here. Open the door quickly. Lin Xiaoxiao shouted loudly from behind the door. Go away. Do you know that my man Yi Feng is a man ten times? No, a hundred times stronger than you. If you stop now, it's still too late. If you continue to be stubborn, you will be dead when he comes over. Hearing this, Lin Haoshan said with disdain. Stop bragging here. Who are you trying to scare? The man just now was very good at acting, but I'm still better at seeing through your scam. Ha ha, the probability of two superpowers appearing in one building is too low, impossible. Bang bang bang. Lin Haoshan continued to knock on the door. How is it impossible? 
Did you forget yesterday's video? There was a man who was good at making thunder, and he appeared in our community and caused an uproar. He is Yi Fang. These few words made Lin Hoshin a little dazed. What she said seems to make sense. Why didn't I think of that just now? Is he really a superpower? When I think about it, I scolded a person with thunder powers, and now I want to his woman again. He suddenly became a little flustered, and a cold sweat broke out on his forehead. What to do now? If you think about it from another person's perspective, if someone treats you this way, will you let him go easily? Mud, is it too late to run away now? Run away, stay and admit your mistake, or continue. Lin Hoshin didn't know what to do for a moment. Lin Hoshin, it's too late for you to stop now. We can just pretend that nothing happened. Lin Xiaoxiao continued to persuade. He will definitely take revenge on me. Lin Hoshin said tentatively. No, I won't lie to you. Lin Xiaoxiao said sincerely. The scene froze for a moment. Lin Hoshin suddenly reacted. Isn't that right? Who said that the superpower who releases thunder must belong to Yi Feng? They are all one-sided words. Maybe this fool is just lying to me. A glimmer of wisdom flashed in Lin Hoshin's eyes. I'm so smart. Do not care. Get rid of this girl first. If a person with lightning powers had nothing to do with this girl, he would make a lot of money. Besides, even if that Yi Feng is really a superpower, I may not be able to defeat him. Even if I can't defeat him, I can still take Lin Xiaoxiao as a hostage and force that superhuman to submit. After all, to say the least, if you have offended someone anyway, it would definitely not be a loss to get someone as good as Lin Xiaoxiao before you die. The more Lin Hoshin thought about it, the more he felt that there was nothing wrong with his idea. He couldn't help but laugh evilly. Bang, bang, bang. Continue to wave your fists and smash the door wildly. Lin Xiaoxiao inside the house, seeing that Lin Hoshin still refused to give up, had no choice but to hide. Lin Hoshin is a person with superpowers after all. In his persistent door breaking action, Lin Xiaoxiao's door was finally broken open by him. Lin Hoshin walked into the house. Xiaoxiao baby, where are you? He kept searching house to house, living room, kitchen, bathroom. Soon, Lin Hoshin targeted the master bedroom. Because the master bedroom is locked. Lin Hoshin continued to bang on the door. Not long after, the door lock broke and fell down. Lin Hoshin kicked the door open. Searched like crazy, but found nothing. Maid, where are you? Lin Hoshin was angry. Study, second bedroom, continue searching. Entering the second bedroom, he was greeted by a huge rolling pin. I'll crush you to death. Lin Xiaoxiao made her last effort. Lin Hoshin was beaten in a daze. He quickly reacted and snatched the rolling pin away with force. Looking at Lin Xiaoxiao's beautiful face and hot figure. Lin Hoshin licked the corner of his mouth and said with a lewd smile. HMPH, the little beauty is quite powerful. Even if the so-called Yi Feng is really a superpower who can release thunder, I will give him Shabu Shabu today. At this moment, the husky rushed out and bit Lin Hoshin's calf fiercely. Ah, Lin Hoshin immediately let out a cry of pain. When I turned around, I saw it was a dog. He angrily kicked Xiao Bai in the abdomen. Ouch. Xiao Bai was kicked several meters away on the spot and lay on the ground wailing. Lin Hoshin lowered his head to check the wound and found that the problem was not serious, and then said fiercely. Mad, this stupid dog doesn't have rabies. Beast, when I'm done, I'll make it into dog meat hot pot for you. Chapter 71 I saw the husky being kicked away. Noob. Lin Xiaoxiao's beautiful eyes were filled with tears and her voice was choked with sobs. Don't worry. It will be your turn soon. Lin Hoshin chuckled. Lin Xiaoxiao raised her head and scolded sternly. If you touch me, Yi Feng will not let you go. If you run away now, it's still too late. Lin Hoshin was already so bold and desperate. As the saying goes, dying under the peonies is also romantic as a ghost. Lin Hoshin was about to take a step forward. Suddenly, Lin Xiaoxiao looked surprised. Yi Feng, you are finally here. Lin Hoshin was shocked and immediately looked back. Looking around, there was no one. Only then did he realize that he had been fooled again. Turning around again, Lin Xiaoxiao was already running all the way and was about to enter the study. Lin Hoshin hurriedly caught up, but was still one step behind. Lin Xiaoxiao locked the study door. I feel like my IQ has been severely crushed again. 
Lin Haoshan was completely angry. Treacherous fool, I'm going to kill you. He used all his strength to kick the door wildly. Not long after, the door burst into pieces. Lin Haoshan broke in, with a ferocious smile on his face and was about to continue saying something. Lin Xiaoxiao looked surprised again. Lin Haoshan smiled disdainfully. I'm so smart, can a person trip over the same stone twice? However, at this moment, a cold male voice sounded. You deserve to die. Yi Feng broke through the window instantly and landed slowly on the ground. The whole body was filled with thunder and lightning. Flaunting hair, golden eyes, terrifying power. Lin Haoshan's body suddenly froze on the spot. The arrival of Yi Feng. It was like a basin of cold water pouring down from the top of his head. A chill rose from the bottom of his heart, and the overwhelming desire disappeared without a trace. You, are you Yi Feng? Lin Haoshan said with a trembling voice as his body trembled. It's over, everything is true. I seem to be a big stupid pig. Yi Feng was slightly out of breath, removed his thunder stance, and returned to his normal state. The thunderous posture is powerful, but it consumes too much energy. The energy in Yi Feng's body has been exhausted at this moment. Xiao Xiao, are you okay? Seeing Yi Feng's return, Lin Xiao Xiao threw herself into Yi Feng's arms, with a pear-shaped face that made people feel pity for her aggrieveness. Wu, Yi Feng, you are finally here. Do you know, if you are one step late, I will. Yi Feng patted her back and comforted her softly, my fault. I was late and made you worried. Yi Feng turned to look at Lin Haoshan, his eyes full of murderous intent. Today, if I let you die too easily, I will be considered incompetent. Lin Haoshan was frightened by Yi Feng's murderous intent and took a step back. After he reacted, he gritted his teeth and said, What are you pretending to be? We haven't even fought yet, so you think you can definitely beat me. Besides, if I read correctly, your supernatural energy has been exhausted, right? Lin Haoshan felt that his smart IQ had once again occupied the high ground. Yi Feng ignored him, looked at Lin Xiaoxiao's pale face, and sprinkled a sacred blessing. This skill consumes mental energy. Under the shroud of white light, Lin Xiaoxiao quickly recovered. Yi Feng, you don't have to worry about me, it's important to deal with the enemy first. Lin Xiaoxiao let go of Yi Feng with a hint of nervousness. She didn't know about superpowers. Now when he heard Lin Haoshan say that Yi Feng's energy was exhausted, he immediately became worried. Lin Haoshan frowned at the side, looking thoughtful. Then it dawned on him. It's definitely an empty city plan. Your energy has been exhausted and you are unable to fight anymore. So you might as well continue to show me the empty city strategy and pretend to use more skills. If my guess is correct, the skill you just used has exhausted the last of your energy. At this moment, you are exhausted. Lin Haoshan kept analyzing and trying to observe Yi Feng's expression. It's a pity that Yi Feng has no expression at all. You pretend to be calm on the surface, but you're already sweating profusely after I poke the sore spot, right? Lin Haoshan continued. Lin Xiaoxiao glanced at Yi Feng worriedly. A sneer appeared at the corner of Yi Feng's mouth, and he clapped repeatedly. Good analysis, you are really a smart person. You're right, my energy has indeed been exhausted. This is your best chance to defeat me right now. Use whatever skills you have, right? While speaking, Yi Feng secretly opened his eyes of insight. Lin Haoshan's information was immediately visible at a glance. Name, Lin Haoshan. Level, 1 star. Superpower, power goes crazy, blue rare. Combat power index, 61. Compared with ordinary people, the information about superpowers is richer. Lin Haoshan looked at Yi Feng in surprise and did not move for a while. Yi Feng took the initiative to approach Lin Haoshan. One step. Dot two steps. Every step he took seemed to step on Lin Haoshan's heart. Looking at the confident Yi Feng, Lin Haoshan felt panicked. He's clearly exhausted of energy, so why isn't he afraid of me? He must be pretending, trying to get out of trouble. I'm so smart. Thinking of this, Lin Haoshan roared. Maid, I will fight with you. Crazy transformation, turn on. Lin Haoshan activated his power to go crazy. The muscles all over his body suddenly bulged, and his strength surged many times in an instant. I'm so strong. The surge in power made Lin Haoshan more confident. Wave your fists and feel like you can blow everything up. Watch me knock you out with one punch. Lin Haoshan felt that he could do it again, 
and suddenly rushed towards Yi Fang, punching him hard. The fist wind is fierce and fierce. Yi Fang's expression remained unchanged and he also punched. Two fists collide in the air. Click. A crisp sound came from Lin Hoshin's wrist. Ah, Lin Hoshin immediately let out a scream, and his arm broke directly. Not only that, Lin Hoshin's body flew several meters backwards and hit the ground hard. A big hole was made in the ground, and the floor tiles collapsed one after another. Lin Hoshin's face was pale, and he had only one thought in his heart at the moment. This is impossible. Why is his power so powerful? Could it be that he is also a superpower? Yi Feng flashed and came to Lin Hoshin. He raised his right leg and stepped on Lin Hoshin's head hard under his feet. Crush repeatedly. Is this all you have? Yi Feng said jokingly. Ah, Lin Hoshin kept wailing. His face was red and he was struggling desperately. However, no matter how hard he tried, he could not get up. Yi Feng's right foot was like a mountain bearing down on him. Lin Hoshin couldn't shake it at all. A feeling of powerlessness came over me. This. Dot how is this possible? My strength has obviously increased so many times. Lin Hoshin couldn't figure out what was going on. His eyes were dull and he was sweating like rain. Yi Feng didn't use his thunder power and easily crushed him with just his physical strength. Yi Feng trampled Lin Hoshin under his feet. A thought came to my mind. The flaming sword appeared in his hand. Lin Hoshin caught a glimpse of this scene out of the corner of his eye, trembling all over and turning pale with horror. No, Yi Feng, I know I was wrong, just spare my life. Please, I am a superpower, I am willing to surrender to you, spare me. Lin Hoshin's begging for mercy could not be heard without stopping. Yi Feng sneered and remained unmoved. Cut it off with a knife. All I saw was a flash of sword light. Poof, one of Lin Hoshin's arms fell in response. Blood spurted out wildly and splashed all over the ground. Ah, Lin Hoshin screamed in extreme pain. The miserable screams resounded throughout the room. Yi Feng, please don't kill me. Lin Hoshin was terrified and begged in pain. Yi Feng slashed with his backhand again. Poof, Lin Hoshin's other arm also fell to the ground. Bright red blood flows out. It hurts. It hurts too much. Yi Feng, you have to die. Lin Hoshin wailed. Yi Feng rubbed Lin Hoshin's face harshly with his feet. Not long after, his face was a bloody mess. Yi Feng raised the flaming sword. The sword flashed continuously. In an instant, Lin Hoshin's left leg and right leg were severed. Spare, my life, Lin Hoshin murmured, as if he was angry. In the end, Yi Feng raised the knife and cut off Lin Hoshin's fifth limb with great precision, as if performing surgery. Lin Hoshin tilted his head and fainted from the pain. Yi Feng smiled coldly and sprinkled a sacred blessing. Under the shroud of white light, Lin Hoshin slowly woke up. Boundless pain comes. Seeing that he had been made into a human pig, Lin Hoshin fell into despair. He roared hysterically. Yi Feng, you must die a happy death. Do you think you are a good person? Bah, aren't you just relying on your powers to be stronger than me? One day, you will meet a person with powers stronger than you, and you will die worse than me. Yi Feng moved his wrist, and the long knife pierced Lin Hoshin's shoulder blade. Use force to lift it up. At this moment, Lin Hoshin has turned into a blood ball, and blood is dripping down. Yi Feng stared at him and sneered. No one has more say than me about how cruel this world is. Yi Feng picked up Lin Hoshin, left the bedroom, and walked towards the window of the living room. I just rely on being stronger than you, what can you do? This is how to survive now. Coming to the window, Yi Feng stretched out his flaming sword and suspended Lin Hoshin in the air. A gentle breeze blew. Lin Hoshin was completely desperate. Please don't feed me to zombies, give me a good time. Yi Feng gently waved his knife and knocked down Lin Hoshin. Ah, Lin Hoshin fell from the height of the 18th floor and let out a desperate cry. Snap, Lin Hoshin fell to the ground and became a puddle of meat. The zombies downstairs quickly surrounded him and ate them up. Lin Hoshin, die. Yi Feng turned around and left, returning to the bedroom. I happened to bump into Lin Xiaoxiao walking out with Xiao Bai in her arms. Yi Feng, look at Xiao Bai. He was kicked by Lin Hoshin just to save me. Lin Xiaoxiao looked panicked. Yi Feng was slightly startled and looked down. I saw Xiao Bai's right leg bent. Although his spirit was sluggish, 
His eyes were still bright. Yi Feng released a sacred blessing. White light falls. Woof woof. The husky barked a few times and his condition improved greatly, but his leg was still broken. How is it, Xiao Bai? Lin Xiao Xiao asked with hope. There seems to be no problem on the outside, but I don't know if there is internal bleeding. Yi Feng frowned and said slowly. Divine blessing only restores status and feeling, but does not cure injuries. Although Lin Haoshan is a rookie, he is a superpower after all. His power cannot be underestimated. Xiao Bai was kicked by him. Then what should we do? Yi Feng, let's find a hospital to take a look at him. Lin Xiao Xiao subconsciously suggested. But immediately, she shook her head bitterly, oh, is the hospital still open now? Let's go to the hospital to try our luck first, Yi Feng said. The hospital has all kinds of medicines and equipment, which are precious materials. Even if you can't meet the doctor, you can still collect them. Lin Xiaoxiao nodded in agreement. Xiao Bai was injured by Lin Haoshan because he was trying to save me. Her eyes were full of remorse. Yi Feng hugged Xiao Bai, turned around and said to Lin Xiaoxiao. Xiao Xiao, I will take you out of here. We need a safer place to live and this is not the right place. Lin Xiaoxiao naturally had no objection. She simply packed her things and followed Yi Feng downstairs. After the two arrived downstairs, the RV arrived just in time. Yi Feng hugged Xiao Bai and took Lin Xiaoxiao into the RV. Facing this high-tech RV, Lin Xiaoxiao was naturally shocked. What shocked her even more were the two beauties in the car. One is a beautiful young woman with gorgeous appearance and hot figure. The other one is a stunning girl with a supermodel figure, stunning looks, and a cool temperament. This made Lin Xiaoxiao instantly feel a great sense of crisis. Hello, my name is Nan Xian. Nan Xian took the initiative to say hello to Lin Xiaoxiao. She looked calm on the outside, but she was extremely surprised on the inside. Nan Xian knew about Lin Xiaoxiao's existence. But she didn't expect that Lin Xiaoxiao turned out to be a beauty with such a hot figure. Big bear, slim waist, plump hips. Especially the buttocks, which are fatter than my aunt's. Could it be that Yi Feng actually prefers this one? Nan Xian felt inferior for the first time in her life. I am completely incomparable in this regard. Lin Xiaoxiao introduced herself simply. Then the atmosphere between the two suddenly became awkward. Fortunately, Nan Ryan was there to liven up the atmosphere. Soon, the three women gathered together because of Yi Feng began to talk and laugh. Yi Feng immediately ordered M.I. Li to find the nearest hospital. The vehicle runs smoothly. Yi Feng took the time to glance at Lin Xiaoxiao and Nan Xian. Seeing them getting along harmoniously, I couldn't help but feel relieved. The RV is speeding along. Not long after, we arrived at the hospital. After the vehicle stops, Yi Feng glanced at the three women. They are just ordinary people, their bodies are too weak. Once you've settled down, you can use the God of War contract to strengthen it. Now, Yi Feng decided not to take them with him. The number of people was increasing, and Yi Feng felt that he couldn't take care of them. Yi Feng stood up, picked up the dog, and warned the three women. You guys rest in the car, I can go in alone. Also, the defense level of this vehicle is extremely high, and it cannot be broken down by ordinary superpowers. The three girls had no objections and nodded in agreement. They knew that they were Yi Feng's burden. Smart rice grains opened the car door. Yi Feng got out of the car and was surprised to find that there was a large pet hospital behind the hospital. Yi Feng thought about it and found that for Xiao Bai's situation, the pet hospital was obviously more suitable. He simply hugged Xiao Bai and walked toward the back door of the pet hospital. Go to the pet hospital first, then go to the normal hospital. Yi Feng quickly arrived at the back door of the pet hospital. There aren't many zombies here. Several zombies rushed towards me. As Yi Feng moved forward, he drew his knife and hacked these zombies to death. After killing the zombies, Yi Feng entered the pet hospital. Look around. The decoration is good and the equipment should be complete. It seems to be a private pet hospital, and the scale is pretty good. Enter the first floor. Yi Feng was targeted by several zombies. To be precise, Xiao Bai in Yi Feng's arms was targeted by zombies. Ho ho ho. Two human zombies wearing white coats, and five zombie cats and zombie dogs of different sizes rushed towards Yi Feng with bared teeth. Yi Feng thought, take out the pistol from the space and start shooting. 
Bang 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 bang. Fire several times and get a headshot. The zombies fell to the ground. After cleaning up the zombies, Yi Feng cleared his throat and started shouting. Is there any survivor here? I'm a rescue worker, please answer if you hear me. No respond. Instead, it attracted three more zombies. One of the zombies is bald and wearing a doctor's white coat. You're not a doctor, are you? Yi Feng murmured in his heart. Raise the gun and pull the trigger to kill these three zombies. Then, he asked a few more times, but still no response. Yi Feng frowned. Activate the mental exploration skill. Mental power is like a thread, constantly extending outward. One meter, three meters, five meters, no one. Yi Feng walked slowly up to the second floor. Nobody. Walking up to the third floor. Yi Feng inspected it carefully. Soon, Yi Feng perked up and the corners of his mouth curled up. Come out. I've found you. There was no movement. In the third cabinet on the right corner, the girl wearing a white nurse uniform with her butt stuck out. Do you still need me to continue talking? Come out. Three seconds later, the cabinet in the corner suddenly shook. A girl climbed out from inside. Yi Feng looked up and down at the girl in front of him. She has a ponytail, big eyes, a high nose, and a pure and beautiful face. He is not very tall, less than 1.6 meters tall. Belongs to the petite and cute type. The girl opened her big eyes and looked at Yi Feng timidly, like a frightened little rabbit. I have nothing, please don't hurt me. Yi Feng slowed down his voice and said softly. Don't worry, little girl, I'm not a bad person. What's your name? Are you the doctor here? Hearing Yi Feng's soft voice, the girl's tense nerves finally calmed down a little. She looked timid and whispered. I, my name is Ku Zaodu. I am a junior majoring in veterinary medicine at Zhongcheng Medical University. I work part-time here. Yi Feng couldn't help but frown. Not a doctor. This is a bit difficult to handle. Then do you know where the doctor here is? Ku Zaodu nodded first, then shook his head repeatedly. Yi Feng was speechless. What do you mean? Seeing that Yi Feng didn't understand, Ku Zaodu quickly explained. I know the doctor, he's, right here, in this building. But, dot but he has turned into a zombie now. Yi Feng sighed with some disappointment. Got it, it's most likely the bald doctor downstairs. Seeing Yi Feng's disappointment, Ku Zaodu thought for a while and mustered up the courage to speak. Excuse me, are you looking for a doctor? Do you need any help? Is it because of this cute puppy? Ku Zaodu quickly glanced at Xiao Bai in Yi Feng's arms. Yi Feng nodded. Yes, my dog was kicked hard. I'm worried that it has internal bleeding, so I want to ask a pet doctor to take a look at it. After hearing this, Ku Zaodu breathed a sigh of relief and said in a sincere tone. Brother, if you believe me, I can help you see its injuries. I can't treat complicated diseases. But if it's just a pure external blow, I can use an instrument to help you take a look. I can basically use the instruments here. Ku Zaodu patted his chest and sounded confident. When Yi Feng heard this, he felt happy. Is that so? That would be great. Then he handed the husky to Ku Zaodu. Ku Zaodu took over husky. Despite her short stature, she looks soft and weak, and looks easy to bully. In fact, she is quite strong and holding the husky is effortless at all. Perhaps knowing that Ku Zaodu was treating herself, Xiaobai was very cooperative with Ku Zaodu and was very close to her. Ku Zaodu began to control the equipment to check Xiaobai's body. Yi Feng watched from the sidelines. The words are divided into two parts. At the door of the pet hospital, a group of uninvited guests came, four people in total. The leader was a thin, green-haired young man. The four of them saw the silver-white modified RV from a distance. They were shocked by its gorgeous appearance and quickly surrounded it. Three leaders, this car looks like a good thing at first sight. One of the horse-faced boys stretched out his hand and kept stroking the glass of the RV, with a look of greed in his eyes. The one known as the three leaders is the green-haired young man. At this moment, he kept tapping on the car window with the same greedy expression. Is there anyone in there? If there is anyone, please come out to me quickly. There was silence, and the RV did not respond at all. It seems there is no one. The green-haired young man walked around the car a few times. The more he looked at it, the more he liked it. The more he looked at it, the more satisfied he became. I must find a way to get rid of this car. 
Three leaders, normally this thing should have an owner, should you be careful, a younger brother reminded. What I see is mine. I will kill anyone who comes to rob me. The green-haired young man's eyes flashed fiercely and he grinned. A few people thought about it. The power of the three leaders was obvious to all. No matter who the owner of the car is, he will be killed. Smash the car glass immediately. The green-haired young man gave an order. Several people immediately wielded axes and iron rods and smashed the glass of the RV. Quote dot 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 quote. Inside the RV, the three girls looked slightly uneasy. Naturally, they discovered a few gangsters early on. However, because Yi Feng said that the RV was extremely defensive and could not be penetrated by bullets or cannonballs, they were not very worried. Moreover, the car glass is one way, so people inside the car can clearly see the outside, but people outside cannot see what is going on inside the car at all. So the four people outside didn't know there was anyone in the car. The vehicle shuddered slightly. People outside started to smash things. The hearts of several women immediately rose. Bang bang bang. The car glass was largely unscathed. Lin Xiaoxiao and others looked at each other and finally breathed a sigh of relief. It seems that the defensive power of this RV is really amazing. Should we inform Brother Yi Feng? Let's see, if they can't break through the defense, they will postpone notifying Yi Feng. Yi Feng has his own things to do, we can't let him distract us all the time. Quote dot 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 quote. Outside the car, the four hooligans circled the car for more than ten times, using all kinds of tools. The green-haired young man even used his special power, steel and iron bones. However, in the end, I was helpless and helpless about the RV. Not even a scratch was left. The four people stared at each other with big eyes and small eyes. Finally, the green-haired young man said fiercely. Maid, tell me to tell my second brother. I want to carry this RV back to the gang. Pet Hospital, Ku Zaudu operated the instrument and successfully completed a series of inspections. Put down the husky. Ku Zaudu let out a sigh of relief and said happily. Xiao Bai, there is no big problem. As long as he rests well, he will recover slowly. But it is in pain now and needs to take some medicine to relieve the dog's pain. Its leg is broken and it also needs to be treated. Xiao Bai also needs to take some antibiotics to prevent infection. Speaking of Xiao Bai, Ku Zaudu was quite clear about it. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly, activating the Eye of Insight. Name, Ku Zaudu. Rank, 1 star. Superpower, Animal Affinity, Normal Level. Combat Power Index, 38. Really a superpower. Ordinary level. Animal Friendly. I said you are so strong, it turns out you are a superpower. Yi Feng smiled slightly and said. How did you know? Ku Zaudu was shocked. Anyway, I know that animals are friendly, right? Yi Feng said with a smile. Ku Zaudu nodded in frustration. My ability is useless compared to other people's abilities. Yi Feng thought for a while and said. Ku Zaudu, my name is Yi Feng, I am a powerful superpower. After Yi Feng briefly introduced himself. Now, I invite you to join my team, please think about it. I promise, Ku Zaudu replied immediately without thinking. Yi Feng was stunned for a moment, then smiled and said. You agreed so quickly, aren't you afraid that I am a bad person? Ku Zaudu said with a serious face. I think, under the current circumstances, if you can treat an ordinary dog, you must be a good person. In fact, she had another reason not to mention it. Yi Feng was so handsome that he didn't look like a bad guy. Yi Feng laughed when he heard this. In that case, you will be a member of my team from now on. Ku Zaudu was also very happy and felt that she had successfully found the organization. She lowered her head and started to deal with Xiao Bai's broken leg, putting a plaster on it. Yi Feng took the opportunity to pack all the medicines and instruments in the entire pet hospital and put them into the storage space. Ku Zaudu was naturally shocked. Why are all my instruments missing? Yi Feng didn't explain much. After getting along for a long time, you will know. After taking care of Xiao Bai's broken leg, the two of them walked downstairs. Yi Feng plundered all the items in the pet hospital's sales area. I got more dog food, dog medicine, dog toys than Xiao Bai could eat in half his life. After walking out of the pet hospital, Yi Feng looked at it from a distance and was slightly startled. I saw four hooligans smoking and puffing around his RV. How long does it take for second brother to arrive? 
The green-haired young man took a deep breath of his cigarette, then threw the cigarette butt on the ground and stamped it out. It will take about 10 minutes for the second leader to get here. Another boy replied immediately. Humph, the second child's superpower can just carry the car away. This car can withstand my superpower attack. It is absolutely extraordinary. Let's go back and study it slowly. The green-haired young man looked greedy. The three leaders are really wise and powerful. Several of the younger brothers expressed compliments. Yi Feng probably understood what was going on. At this moment, the phone received a message. Yi Feng lowered his head and saw that it was a message from the three women in the car when they saw Yi Feng coming out. Combined with the mobile phone messages, Yi Feng understood the situation clearly. Smash my car, right? Yi Feng handed Xiao Bai over to Ku Zaodu to take care of him and walked slowly towards the RV. Yi Feng did not deliberately hide his figure, and the four hooligans quickly noticed Yi Feng. One of them shouted, Stop, boy, what do you want to do? We discovered this car first. Yi Feng kept walking and said in a cold voice, This car is mine. Since you have touched my car, then you will die. When the four people heard this, they immediately looked at each other. The next moment, they burst into laughter. Ha ha ha. Where did this mental illness come from? The green-haired young man also looked amused. Is there anyone more arrogant than me in this world? He raised his eyebrows and opened his mouth arrogantly. Shabi, do you know who I am? Yi Feng glanced at him and frowned slightly. Suddenly, I felt that the person in front of me did look familiar. Oh, who are you? Yi Feng asked slowly. The green-haired young man had his nostrils turned upward and looked proud. The boy next to him immediately took a step forward and explained. Boy, we are from the Wild Wolf Gang. Our Wild Wolf Gang currently has eight superpowers, and the three bosses are all extremely powerful superpowers. The person in front of you is the third leader of our Wild Wolf Gang, the epic superpower, Mr. Joe Kingming. Wild Wolf Gang, Joe Kingming, Yi Fang's eyes narrowed. He looked carefully again and finally recognized, the green-haired young man in front of him was really Joe Kingming. Joe Kingming, one of the leaders of the Wild Wolf Gang in his previous life. Yi Feng knew him. To be precise, Yi Feng had joined the Wild Wolf Gang in his previous life. However, the Wild Wolf Gang that Yi Feng joined was only a second-rate force, and its leaders were two awakeners of epic powers. But it is said that the original Wild Wolf Gang was born out of a lone shark company and was a survivor force gathered by three powerful people. They call each other the big leader, the second leader, and the third leader. The big leader among them is a strong man with legendary powers. It's a pity that he died in the hands of the blood demon while fighting for a big opportunity on the bloody night of the ninth day of the apocalypse. After the death of the boss, the Wild Wolf Gang relied on the remaining two people. Naturally, it could not develop and it could not be called a big force. Later, it was absorbed and merged by other forces. Yi Feng thought and activated the Eye of Insight. Name, Zhou Kingming. Rank, 1 star. Superpower, Steel and Iron Bones, Epic Level. Skill, Steel Claw. Combat Power Index, 81. Epic Superpower, Steel and Iron Bones. There is also a skill, Steel Claw. It turns out it's really you. My former, Boss Zhou. Yi Feng looked emotional. In his previous life, his life in the Wild Wolf Gang was not satisfactory. His status was low and he was often targeted by Wang Kun. Wang Kun is the son of Wang Guifang, a doctor. Yi Feng had a very hard life, and only stayed with the Wild Wolf Gang for a short time, and then left soon after. Therefore, Yi Feng and Zhou Boss, one of the two leaders, are not familiar with each other and have only met a few times. In Yi Feng's memory, Boss Zhou was not a green man. So he really didn't expect that the green-haired young man in front of him was Zhou Kingming, the later deputy leader of the Wild Wolf Gang, who was known to have unparalleled combat power. Yi Feng has a bad feeling about the Wild Wolf Gang, and he has no grudges against Zhou Kingming, but they have a mutual affection after all. Thinking of this, Yi Feng narrowed his eyes. You are the third leader of the Wild Wolf Gang, right? For some reason, I can give you a chance. Leave this place now, and I won't hold you accountable for smashing my car. Otherwise, you'll die. A murderous look flashed in Yi Feng's eyes. Yi Feng's eyes were filled with murderous intent. However, he still decided to give Zhou Kingming a chance. 
If the third leader of the Wild Wolf Gang could seize the opportunity and retreat despite the difficulties, he would still be able to survive. However, after hearing Yi Feng's words, Zhou Qingming burst out laughing, extremely arrogant. Ha ha ha, do you know? All my life, I hate pretty boys who are more handsome than me. But, I hate people who are pretentious even more. Young pretty boy, what an unlucky thing. Dot you took all of them. Zhou Qingming is full of confidence and extremely arrogant. Tell me, how do you want to die? Yi Feng looked at Zhou Qingming in front of him, with a cold light flashing in his eyes. There is a road to heaven and you are so stupid not to take it. Zhou Qingming curled his lips with disdain on his face. Ha ha, you're still showing off. Today I will let you experience the terrifying power of epic superpowers. Ku Zaodu, who was hiding at the door of the hospital, vaguely heard the conversation between Yi Feng and Zhou Qingming. She couldn't help but feel worried. What if Yi Feng is not his opponent? Epic superpower, a full two levels higher than his own ability. Yi Feng. Dot can he beat him? Young pretty boy, if I don't beat the shit out of you today, you'll be clean. Zhou Qingming laughed ferociously. The three younger brothers next to Zhou Qingming also had contemptuous expressions on their faces and started mocking him one after another. This pretty boy is so pretentious, he must be a superpower. But he really doesn't know the heights of the world, and he doesn't understand at all that there is a gap between powers. I wonder if he can still laugh out loud after a while. Quote dot 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 quote. Yi Feng's eyes turned cold. Noisy. A thought came to my mind. Boom. There was a loud noise in the sky. Three pencil-thick gray thunders fell suddenly. A few hooligans, completely defenseless. Bang. 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 The three ordinary men from the wild wolf gang suddenly screamed in pain. Their expressions froze, turned into charcoal, and fell to the ground dead. Zhou Qingming was also startled, and his expression instantly became serious. You pretty boy, you should be for sneak attack. He secretly scolded Yi Fang for his lack of martial ethics and immediately activated his superpower. Swish. In an instant, his entire body was tempered and transformed into the color of steel. His right hand squirmed even more. In a few breaths, it transformed into silver white steel claws. Zhou Qingming waved his steel claws continuously, and the wind from his claws was fierce, making the air behind him roar. Young pretty boy, watch how I tear you apart. Zhou Qingming laughed ferociously and flashed. Like a humanoid Tyrannosaurus, it quickly pounced on Yi Feng. Facing his attack, Yi Feng thought to himself, it's just the right time. It's just convenient for him to test his new skill, Thunder Stance. A thought came to my mind. Thunder Stance, start. The next moment, golden thunder and lightning energy began to gather around Yi Feng's body. Sizzle. Golden and gray electric arcs alternately twine around each other, constantly jumping around Yi Feng's body, with electric light radiating everywhere. Crackling. Yi Feng was bathed in thunder and lightning, his eyes turned into a deep golden color, and his muscles gradually swelled. Golden thunder energy spreads all over the body, and the vicissitudes of ancient aura spreads. The golden thunder keeps surging. Yi Feng seems to be a thunder god who stepped out of mythology. Powerful, mysterious and domineering. At this moment, Zhou Qingming realized that something was wrong. The special effects on the opposite side. Dot are too exaggerated and outrageous. Let's take a look at the special effects of our own abilities. Compared with Yi Fang's, it's not on the same level at all. His heart was horrified, and his body couldn't stop shaking wildly. He immediately stopped and shouted loudly. No more fighting, I surrender. A cold look flashed in Yi Fang's eyes. Ha ha, you said you won't fight if you don't want to. Take my move and you will win if you don't die. Yi Fang's figure flashed like a golden lightning, rushing towards Zhou Qingming. Boom boom, a sonic boom sounded in the air. No, no, don't come over. Under Zhou Qingming's horrified gaze, the two collided. Boom boom buzz, huge energy fluctuations made the air buzz. The ground shook and stones flew everywhere. Amidst the flying dust, only a, bang, sound was heard, and Zhou Qingming's body exploded. Fragments of steel and pieces of flesh and blood scattered all over the sky. Yi Feng smashed Zhou Qingming's body into pieces with just one collision. Zhou Qingming, who had epic powers, could not die like this. A thought came to my mind. 
the flashing lightning around Yi Feng gradually dissipated and returned to his normal state. Yi Feng felt a hint of joy in his heart. Boss Zhou, who was famous in his previous life, couldn't bear even a slight bump from him. Cool, this is absolute power, legendary skill, thunder stance. Overbearing and terrifying, Yi Feng's eyes flickered. After he enters this state, his energy will be consumed quickly. At the same time, the combat power will be greatly improved. Strength and speed all skyrocketed. It's truly a legendary skill. A hint of joy appeared at the corner of Yi Feng's mouth. It only took a few seconds from the start to the end and exiting the combat form. Yi Feng ended the battle neatly. The three women in the car were also happy. Although Yi Feng's power has already penetrated into their hearts. But whenever Yi Feng fights, he still feels a little worried. In addition to being surprised, they were also a little emotional. Yi Feng's methods seem to be getting stronger and stronger. There's something new every time. The newcomer Ku Zhaodu on the other side saw Yi Feng's power for the first time. Crisp and clean fighting, ferocious methods of confronting the enemy. She looked dumbfounded. OMG, is this still a power that humans can possess? The legendary gods are nothing more than that, right? Compared with Yi Feng, his special ability, animal affinity, is useless. Is the gap between superpowers so big? Ku Zhaodu stared at Yi Feng blankly. While feeling depressed, she also admired Yi Feng. Ha, huh, Yi Feng let out a breath and glanced back at Ku Zhaodu. Why are you still standing there? Come here and get in the car. Ku Zhaodu just woke up from a dream and ran all the way to Yi Feng's side. Yi Feng took Ku Zhaodu and walked towards the silver white RV. Seeing this beautiful silver RV, Ku Zhaodu felt amazed in her heart. Cool, also, Yi Feng is handsome and powerful. Even his travel tools are so different. How exactly is it done? The two came to the RV. Click. When the car steward M. I. Lee sees his master return, the program will run automatically. The silver white car door opens, and the steps slowly emerge. Yi Feng and Ku Zhaodu walked up the steps to the RV. Husband, you are finally back. Seeing Yi Feng's return, Lin Xiaoxiao cheered and was the first to rush over, as if they had been separated for a long time. The fragrant wind hits your nostrils, and the beauty falls into your arms. Nan Xiyan on the other side was not as unreserved as Lin Xiaoxiao. But he also walked over, gently took Yi Feng's arm, and called him, husband, sweetly. Yi Feng's two confidants, one on the left and one on the right, are as passionate as fire. Feeling the softness of his arms, Yi Feng was a little puzzled. How is this going? I just went out for a while, and suddenly I feel so enthusiastic. The young woman Nan Ryan stood aside, looking at the scene in front of her with a smile, and a hint of envy in her heart. Honey, how is Xiao Bai? Is he okay? Lin Xiao Xiao asked immediately after the hug. Don't worry, there is nothing wrong with Xiao Bai. He just needs to rest. Yi Feng said with a smile. Hearing this, Lin Xiao Xiao was extremely happy and cheered again. The chest is majestic and jumping up and down. Yi Feng was so offended that he couldn't look away. Seeing this, Nan Xian snorted coldly and grabbed Yi Feng tightly. Brother Yi Feng, who is this? Yi Feng quickly introduced Ku Zhaodu to the girls. Her name is Ku Zhaodu, she is. The girls were not surprised that Yi Feng brought back another beautiful woman. Zhaodu, say hello to everyone. Yi Feng said. Ku Zhaodu said timidly. Hello, sisters, my name is Ku Zhaodu, I am a college student. Little rabbit, welcome, welcome. No matter what they think in their hearts, the girls still warmly welcome Ku Zhaodu's joining. Especially after learning that Ku Zhaodu was a superpower, she became even more enthusiastic and kept calling her, sister, and, sister. Everyone chatted casually in the car and connected with each other. Yi Feng got off the car again and went to the hospital nearby. Half an hour later, Yi Feng returned home with a full load. His eyes shone with satisfaction. In just half an hour, he evacuated all the resources of this hospital. Back to the car, brother Yi Feng, Yi Feng, you are back. Everyone smiled and greeted Yi Feng. Yi Feng also smiled back and then sat on the sofa. Everyone, be quiet, I have something to announce. Everyone became quiet after hearing this. Yi Feng nodded and continued to speak. I want to form a team, and everyone will be a member of my team from now on. First of all, there was the land issue. 
I decided to go to the Longtanshan Villa area and make it our residence. Naturally, the women had no objections and nodded in agreement. Only Lin Xiaoxiao thought for a moment and asked, Brother Yi Feng, is it the villa at the foot of Longtan Mountain in the east? Yes, it's that villa. Yi Feng looked at her doubtfully. Lin Xiaoxiao suddenly beamed with joy. That's great, I have a distant cousin trapped there. You want me to save her? Yi Feng asked with a smile. Lin Xiaoxiao nodded sheepishly. She only mentioned it once, but I actually can't remember whether her current location is in the Longtan Mountain Villa area. I don't know the specific location. We lost contact a few days ago. Her mobile phone seems to have run out of battery. Finally, Lin Xiaoxiao concluded. Yi Feng, my cousin is very beautiful and a big star. Yi Feng nodded slightly and agreed. Xiao Xiao, don't worry, this is just a matter of convenience. When we get to the villa area, I will start cleaning up the zombies there tomorrow. If your cousin is really there, I will definitely save her. Lin Xiao Xiao looked grateful and went up to kiss Yi Feng. Brother Yi Feng, you are so kind. This interaction fell into the eyes of all the girls. Hu Zaodu was confused. Nan Xian and Nan Rian had different expressions. Yi Feng turned around and said, M. I. Li, set the destination, Longtan Mountain Villa area. The car steward rice grains, a crisp voice sounded. Okay, master. The next moment, the vehicle started and headed towards Longtan Mountain. Flying all the way, why go to Longtanshan Villa area? This is what Yi Feng had thought about before. The reason is simple, it is a geomantic treasure land. On the bloody night of the ninth day, Zhang Cheng's greatest opportunity will come there. From now on, many strange flowers and plants, as well as spiritual creatures from heaven and earth will grow there. Even later, some magical crystal stones will be born naturally. After the energy riot of heaven and earth, Longtan Mountain transformed into an ore mountain. The ore produced is the best material for making magical weapons. Not to mention, the land there will become more fertile and more suitable for growing mutant food and mutant plants. In the previous life, Longtan Mountain was a battleground for many forces. An absolute treasure. Thinking of this, Yi Feng smiled slightly. Now that he has returned from rebirth, the plug-in is with him. Yi Feng could say it without any politeness. In Zhongcheng, even in the entire Blue Star, as long as it is something he, Yi Feng, likes. Sooner or later you will have to bear the surname Yi. Longtan Mountain is naturally no exception. Longtan Mountain is a treasure, so it is most suitable to transform the Longtan Mountain Villa area at the foot of the mountain as a base. Yi Feng came back to his senses and saw several women chatting animatedly. Lin Xiaoxiao, Nan Xian, Nan Rian, Ku Zaodu. These people are all good candidates for the God of War contract. Yi Feng walked towards the girls. Yi Feng, husband. Several women said hello one after another. Yi Feng sat between Nan Xian and Lin Xiaoxiao, hugging each other unceremoniously. The two girls' pretty faces turned slightly red. Ku Zaodu looked away embarrassed. On the other hand, Nan Rian smiled and watched with interest. A thought came to my mind. Yi Feng took out a lot of snacks from the space. There are peanuts, melon seeds, chicken feet, pig trotters, drinks. Then, he smiled and said to the girls, Come on, let's have a quick get-together. From today on, we can be considered a team. The sumptuous food attracted cheers from the women. Especially Ku Zaodu was even more excited. Wow, my husband is so strong. Brother Feng, you are great. Everyone started eating and drinking. For a time, the air was filled with a happy atmosphere. The other side, in front of the pet hospital, more than a dozen young men armed with weapons hurried over. Some of these people were armed with sticks, some with steel pipes, and one of the leaders even had a gun. Seeing the mess here, these people all took a breath and were extremely shocked. Oh my god, were the three leaders smashed into pieces? Oh, what a ferocious monster it is. All I saw here was debris everywhere, and extremely bloody. Some mixtures of steel and flesh and the shape of human body parts were scattered everywhere on the ground, and several zombies were lowering their heads to devour. The bald man at the head was even more shocked, his eyelids twitching. How is this possible? I received the notice from my third brother and rushed over as quickly as possible. It seems that the battle ended very quickly, basically an instant kill. The man is the second leader of the wild wolf gang, named Wang Tianba. 
Before the end, he was the manager of a decoration company. Two days ago, Wang Tianba awakened an epic superpower, sky strengthening power. The enemy is so cruel. Three liters just for one car, it's really not worth it. Some people in the team shook their heads and sighed. Wang Tianba cleared his throat and said sadly, Third brother, you died so miserably. But don't worry, I will definitely avenge you and cut the enemy who killed you into pieces. At this moment, a boy with purple hair suddenly spoke up, interrupting Wang Tianba's words. Second leader, look quickly. I saw him pointing to a road heading north, with an excited look on his face. The purple-haired boy looked excited. Second leader, I have made a new discovery. Look at the state of this road, something is obviously wrong. I judge, the enemy should have just left here and headed north. As long as we pursue them all the way, we will definitely be able to catch up with the enemy and avenge the three leaders. As the purple-haired boy was talking, he suddenly felt a chill in his heart. When he raised his head, he saw the bald man with murderous eyes. Revenge, revenge, the words that came to his mouth were stuck in his throat and he couldn't say them out. The purple-haired boy was a little at a loss. Others around him looked at him like an idiot. Your judgment is wrong, Wang Tianba said with a cold face. Ah, but, the purple-haired boy wanted to say something more, but was quickly stopped by someone on the side. Wang Tianba frowned, he really has no vision. Next time I take you out, I will be a dog. Wang Tianba thought angrily, where did the enemy leave from? Are you talking nonsense about them? I'm not blind, can't you see it? The crux of the matter is that Lao San's superpower is an epic superpower, steel and iron bones. As a result, he was violently beaten into pieces, almost shattered into pieces. Steel and iron, broken copper and iron, you can imagine how ferocious the enemy is. Is he just going to chase me and kill me? If you want me to die, just say so. The purple-haired boy suddenly realized it after being reminded by his companions, and he kept silent. Seeing that the team was unified, Wang Tianba was satisfied and said. Ahem, since we don't know where the enemy comes from, where he is going, and what his strength is. Let's retreat for now, finish reporting to the boss, and then make plans. What do you think? The second leader is right, we really can't act rashly. A younger brother immediately agreed. We have all seen how strong the three leaders are, and we still have to let the boss take action. Someone added. The big boss has legendary powers, which are ridiculously powerful. Wang Tianba took out his mobile phone and recorded a video of the scene. Then he took Zhou Qingming's body fragments and turned around and left. The other side, silver magic modified RV, running all the way. Eating snacks and laughing in the car, it feels like a vacation. Not long after, we arrived at the Longtan Mountain Villa area. Longtan Mountain Villa area is a high-end residential area, covering a large area and backed by Longtan Mountain. These are all single-family villas, with single doors, single households, and single courtyards, with excellent privacy. The people who live here are all rich people from Zhongcheng. The RV drove all the way into the community and finally stopped in front of a villa with an excellent location. Master, we have arrived at the designated location. The clear voice of the smart car butler sounded. Yi Feng stood up from Lin Xiaoxiao's broad arms and announced. Everyone, we have reached our destination. This villa area will be our home from now on. Everyone got out of the car. The villa in front of you is the best single-family villa in the entire villa area. Excellent location. The entire villa occupies a large area, with gates, courtyards, and landscapes all available. The villa has three floors in total, each floor is slightly smaller as it goes up, and the overall hierarchy is clear. There is also a swimming pool in front of the villa. Wow, it's really nice here. Looking around, Lin Xiaoxiao's eyes showed excitement. What a big swimming pool. Ku Zhaodu also pursed her lips, very happy. Nan Xian and Nan Rian were also excited. It wasn't that the villa was so shocking, but the home that Yi Feng said touched their hearts. Yi Feng walked in the front, followed closely by the women. Ku Zhaodu hugs Xiao Bai because she is the strongest person besides Yi Feng. It happened that the door of the villa was open, and a group of people walked into the villa. Ouch! Three ferocious looking zombies rushed towards the crowd with their teeth and claws bared. Three zombies, two big and one small, seemed to be a family of three. 
Yi Fang flashed and threw several zombies out of the door neatly. Then three thunderbolts struck down, cleaning up the zombies. This place will be his home from now on, and Yi Fang doesn't want to dirty it. After disposing of the three zombies, Yi Fang asked the women to stay where they were and not move around. Yi Fang activated his spiritual skills and his figure flashed quickly. First floor, second floor, third floor. Yi Fang searched the entire villa carefully. Make sure there are no dangerous factors, then you can rest assured. Come on, you can choose a room. Yi Fang said with a smile. A three-story villa with a dining room and kitchen on the first floor, as well as several small bedrooms and a bathroom. There are six medium-sized bedrooms on the second floor, each with an independent bathroom. There is only one large bedroom on the third floor. In addition, there are many leisure and entertainment areas such as gym, study room, esports room, chess and card room. We will live here from now on. The big room on the third floor belongs to me, and you can choose the other rooms by yourself. Yi Feng made the first choice. Lin Xiaoxiao and others were not polite and chose several rooms on the second floor. After choosing a room, everyone settled down completely. Yi Feng started to distribute daily necessities to everyone. Shower gel, toothpaste, toothbrush, towel, pajamas. After distributing various supplies, Yi Feng said. Everyone will gather on the first floor in a moment. I have something to announce. Then the four girls were busy again. A quarter of an hour later. Everyone gathers in the lobby on the first floor. Yi Feng looked serious and announced. I have something important to tell you. The current situation in the outside world is obvious to everyone. Zombies are rampant and dangers are everywhere. Without power, ordinary people are just lambs to be slaughtered. Lin Xiaoxiao and the other girls nodded in agreement. Indeed, without power, you will be at the mercy of others. Yi Feng looked solemn and continued. I have a contract ability that can give everyone powerful power far beyond ordinary people. As long as you sign a contract with me, you can get this power. But the consequence is, life and death are under my control, and I can never betray you. Think about it. After Yi Feng finished speaking, he stood with his hands behind his hands and closed his eyes in deep thought. He had other plans in mind. Now that there is a God of War contract, everyone around him in the future must sign a God of War contract with him to feel at ease. The double insurance of malicious perception and the God of War contract can ensure that no one can betray him. If the four girls in front of them don't take the initiative to sign the contract, they will be marginalized by Yi Feng in the future. After Yi Feng finished speaking, everyone looked at each other with surprise in their eyes. Yi Feng, are you becoming a person with superpowers? Lin Xiaoxiao couldn't wait to ask first. Yi Feng shook his head and explained. It's not about awakening supernatural powers, but under similar circumstances, you can get powerful power. Although it was not the awakening of supernatural powers, everyone was still excited. After all, there are only a few people who can awaken supernatural powers. Most people are still ordinary people. In the cruel apocalypse, who doesn't want to have the ability to protect themselves? Several girls looked at Yi Feng with admiration. Yi Feng's power was obvious to all. But they still never thought that Yi Feng could actually give people extraordinary power. Yi Feng is simply omnipotent, like a god. There was no need to think too much, Nan Rian was the first to agree. Yi Feng, I am willing to make a contract with you. You saved my life, so what if I let you control my life and death? Besides, if you want to kill us, it's just a thought. As for offering loyalty and never betraying, it is even more natural. Okay. Yi Feng was delighted. Immediately afterwards, Lin Xiaoxiao, Nan Xiyan, and Ku Zhaodu also nodded in agreement. Yi Feng, I am willing to sign a contract. I want to have the power to protect myself. Yi Feng, I am willing to stay by your side forever. Me too. Several women spoke up to express their opinions. Seeing everyone's agreement, Yi Feng smiled happily. Okay, in that case, a thought came to my mind. Yi Feng activated the power of the contract. In an instant, a mysterious aura surged out of Yi Feng. The power of the contract surges. Signing a contract requires blood as the contract. Yi Feng bit his fingertip and a drop of blood gushed out. Yi Feng stretched out his finger and gently placed it on Lin Xiaoxiao's lips. Xiao Xiao, you need to swallow this drop of blood. 
Lin Xiaoxiao looked at the fingers on her lips, her face slightly red. But she didn't hesitate much, and licked away the blood on Yi Fang's fingertips with her fragrant tongue. Yi Fang followed suit and stretched his fingers in front of the other three women one by one. The three girls also swallowed Yi Fang's blood obediently. Yi Fang activated the power of the contract. God of War contract, the effect is domineering. However, there is a prerequisite for signing a contract. It requires a contractor to sign it willingly. If the signer is willing on the surface but refuses to give in on the inside, or some deceitful means are used, the contract will fail. Suddenly, the hearts of the women palpitated. There seemed to be a voice coming from somewhere. Should you sign a contract, offer your loyalty, and become a warrior under the command of the god of War Yi Feng? Several people chose to sign without hesitation. In an instant, streaks of golden light emerged from the void and poured into the bodies of several people. Brilliant golden light kept shining and surging on several women. Lin Xiaoxiao was surprised. Several others were also shocked. It's so amazing. The delicate bodies of several people began to tremble. A stream of strange heat continued to flow in their bodies. Energy filled the bodies of several people, flowing through their limbs and bones, continuously strengthening their physical strength. Ah, I'm suddenly so hot. Me too, this feeling is so comfortable. I, I'm getting stronger quickly. This woman was pleasantly surprised and immersed in the process of becoming stronger. Strength, speed, physical strength, spirit, hearing, vision, etc. are all enhanced to varying degrees. It's becoming stronger in all aspects. After a while, the golden light dissipated and the strengthening ended. The girls recovered from the intensification process. Yi Feng suddenly felt something. The contract is made. He is the god of war, and the four people in front of him are his warriors. He has complete control over the life and death of the four people in front of him. One thought can make them die. Moreover, the four of them will always be loyal to him and never betray him. Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly. This feeling of being in control, is good. A thought came to my mind. Yi Feng casts the eye of insight. Name, Lin Xiaoxiao. Rank, none. Power, none. Skill, blessing of the god of war. Combat power index, 57. Yi Feng's thoughts moved slightly. Lin Xiaoxiao's combat power has increased significantly. The combat power of ordinary people is around 10 points. Lin Xiaoxiao has reached 57 points. Yi Feng looked at the other people. Nan Xian's combat power index is 58 points. Nan Ryan's combat power index is 57 points. Because Ku Zaodu is an ordinary level psychic awakener, her initial combat power is much higher than that of ordinary people. At this moment, her combat power index has reached 89 points. Everyone's combat power has increased significantly. Yi Feng, I have become a superman. Nan Xian said happily. Yi Feng, you are so amazing. You are the god in my heart. Nan Ryan was even more excited, her beautiful eyes flashing continuously. Ku Zaodu was also very happy, giggling on the side. Lin Xiaoxiao excitedly stepped forward and kissed Yi Feng, thank you Yi Feng. Yi Feng laughed heartily and said, Now that you have become warriors, you should first adapt to the power, and then test whether the contract skills are easy to use. The women smiled happily and stretched their fists and feet to adapt to the surge in power. Looking at the female warriors in front of him, Yi Feng's eyes moved slightly. This is the Ares contract. Once signed successfully, you can never withdraw unless you die. And becoming a warrior, your strength will skyrocket, and you will also gain skills. Each contracted warrior will increase his combat power by about 50 points. 10 points of combat power is equivalent to the strength of one person. It can be said that each of them is a superwoman now. This is simply the increase in strength gained by becoming a warrior. If you become a warrior general, the increase in combat power will be even more exaggerated. Become the god of war, and your combat power will skyrocket. Of course, there is only one god of war, and that is Yi Feng. Yi Feng had previously contracted to become the god of war, which instantly increased his combat power by more than 300 points. Greatly increased strength, Yi Feng thought slightly. The God of War contract has a total of 200 warrior quotas and 20 warrior quotas. He can completely rely on the God of War contract to build a team to serve him. Serve his food, clothing, daily life, and solve his physiological needs. 
hunt zombies for him and obtain crystal cores. While thinking, Lin Xiaoxiao took the lead in using the contract skill, Blessing of the God of War. Yi Feng looked sideways. I saw a golden light flashing past Lin Xiaoxiao. In an instant, the aura on her body became stronger. Yi Feng, I feel that I am about 30% stronger again. A hint of surprise flashed in Lin Xiaoxiao's beautiful eyes. Yi Feng nodded slightly. Blessing of the God of War is an active skill. After turning on the skill, you will receive a blessing halo that lasts for one hour. The effect temporarily increases the combat power according to the percentage. At present, it seems that it can increase the combat power by about 30%. The effect is quite good. You must know that this is a percentage skill. Now the basic combat power is relatively low, so the bonus obtained is naturally small. When you grow up in the future, the larger the base, the more bonuses you will get, which is a good late-stage skill. At this moment, several other women also began to test their skills. Rays of golden light flashed past, and everyone's combat power began to increase. I've become stronger. Woohoo, take off. Everyone cheered. Seeing that everyone had adapted to the strength, Yi Feng clapped his hands. From now on, we are called the God of War team. The God of War team consists of 200 warriors, 20 generals and one God of War. I am the only God of War. Lin Xiaoxiao, Nan Xian, now I will promote you two to warrior generals. Yi Feng thought. The power of the contract surged out of his body and echoed throughout the hall. Lin Xiaoxiao and Nan Xian were overjoyed. It turns out there are war generals, and I'm going to become a war general. Husband, I love you so much. You are so kind. In an instant, two rays of light emerged from the void and poured into the bodies of the two women. The auras of the two women increased again. Ku Zhaodu and Nan Ryan, who were standing aside, cast envious glances at the two women. Ku Zhaodu and Nan Ryan were a little envious, but they also understood. After all, Yi Feng had said it first, and there were only 20 generals. The reason why Yi Feng chose Nan Xian and Lin Xiaoxiao to become generals was because of the lice on the monk's head, it was obvious. Nan Xian and Lin Xiaoxiao are Yi Feng's bedfellows, so they naturally have their preferences. Not long after, the strengthening is over. Yun Xiaoxiao and Nan Xian's power increased sharply again, and they also obtained the second contract skill, the power of the God of War. Yi Feng activated the Eye of Insight. Name, Nan Xian. Rank, None. Power, None. Skills, Blessing of the God of War, Power of the God of War. Combat Power Index, 158. Promoted to War Commander, Nan Xian's combat power will increase by 100 points. Yi Feng turned his head and glanced at Lin Xiaoxiao. Her combat power also increases by 100 points. The two girls were excited for a while and continued to adapt to the new strength. Yi Feng said to the two girls, The second skill you have acquired is a skill that warriors don't have. It's called the power of the god of war. It is not an attack skill, nor an active skill, but a healing passive skill. When you are seriously injured, the power of the god of war will be automatically triggered to instantly heal your injuries and restore a certain amount of combat ability. Hearing this, excitement appeared on the pretty faces of the two girls. Healing Serious Injuries in this way, the power of the god of war is equivalent to a life. Yi Feng also nodded slightly. After the two girls learned the power of the god of war, their ability to protect themselves was greatly enhanced. With a thought, Yi Feng secretly made up his mind. The number of warriors is limited, only for your confidant. Next to them, Nan Rian and Ku Zhaodu felt a burst of envy in their hearts. They also really want to have the power of the god of war. They want to progress, become warriors, and increase their strength. The eyes of the two women looking at Yi Feng suddenly became hot. Yi Feng didn't notice and opened the panel with his backhand. He also has the blessing of the god of war and the power of the god of war, and also has an exclusive contract skill, the wrath of the god of war. After activating this skill, a fan-shaped shock wave will be sent directly forward, causing huge damage to enemies within a certain range. The power is affected by combat power. Contract skills can only be used once per day. In the future, you can find an opportunity to test it. After coming back to his senses, Yi Feng saw the girl's eyes burning brightly. How's it going? Are you hungry now? The women bowed their heads one after another, a little embarrassed. 
My strength has become stronger, and I am also hungry. I'm a little hungry too, and I really want to take a shower. Me too. Yi Feng smiled. We can have dinner. By the way, do any of you know how to cook? You are good at cooking. My aunt's cooking is particularly delicious. Nan Xian said first. Ha, huh. Yi Feng looked at Nan Rian. The young woman smiled and looked confident. Yi Feng, I have taught myself how to cook. It's a certified type of cooking. Most home cooked dishes are fine. Very good. Yi Feng was overjoyed and said, In that case, Rian, I will have to trouble you to take charge of our meals. If you can't handle it by yourself, everyone else here can do it. You command. Nan Rian nodded happily. She was very happy to be able to prove her worth to Yi Feng. Yi Feng continued to give instructions. Ha ha, to celebrate our coming together and establishing the God of War team, we will have a big meal today. Those of you who need to take a shower, those of you who need to change clothes, can you unite as one, help Rian, and cook together? The women nodded in agreement. No problem. After I take a shower, I'll come down to help. Yi Feng smiled slightly and continued. Very good, then I will only be responsible for eating. Later, Yi Feng moved a large amount of materials from the space to the villa hall. Various meat products, chicken, duck, fish, sea ginseng, abalone, beef and mutton slices. There are also various types of vegetables and fruits, such as celery, potatoes, leeks, apples, bananas, strawberries. There are also various daily necessities and so on. After everything is arranged properly, several women began to get busy. Take a shower, change clothes, make dinner. Yi Feng walked upstairs to the large room on the third floor. After lying comfortably on the bed, he took out the reconnaissance guardian elf tool from the storage space. Item, scouting guardian elf. Quality, rare. Description, consumables. After summoning this spirit, it will protect your safety within a hundred meters, detect the surrounding area and discover potential dangerous factors in a timely manner. Once there is a crisis that cannot be handled, the elf master will be notified as soon as possible. The spirit will last for 72 hours and then dissipate on its own. This is a consumable prop that Yi Feng fished out before. It can protect 100 meters around Yi Feng for 72 hours. Yi Feng immediately clicked to use the prop. In an instant, a ball of soft blue light continued to gather, deform, and condense right in front, eventually forming a transparent elf. The elf's body is clear, emitting green light, and is connected with Yi Feng's mind. Go, Yi Feng ordered softly. The reconnaissance guard elf lightly jumped up and flew into the air. Investigations were carried out continuously within a hundred meters around Yi Feng. If it encounters an ordinary crisis, it will handle it. Once it cannot be handled, Yi Feng will be notified. After releasing the reconnaissance guard elves, Yi Feng began to close his eyes and rest. The words are divided into two parts. Zhongchang Hotel. This is one of the best hotels in Zhongchang. After the doomsday came, it was used as a stronghold by the Wild Wolf Gang. Wang Tianba returned from the pet hospital, asked to see the gang leader as soon as possible. After all, the death of the three leaders is no small matter. In the conference room, a young man dressed in white walked out. This man is about 25 years old, tall and tall, with ordinary appearance, but a pair of bright eyes. It was Li Xingqin, the leader of the Wild Wolf Gang and the person who awakened legendary powers. The two sat down, and Wang Tianba reported the matter in detail with a respectful look. After Li Xingqin listened quietly, he frowned slightly. You mean, the third child died very simply, as if he was crushed alive by a ferocious beast. My judgment is this, Wang Tianba said as he handed the live video captured by his mobile phone to Li Xingqin. After Li Xingqin watched the video, he fell into silence. His fingers kept tapping on the table, making a banging sound. We still know too little about the apocalypse. Perhaps Lao San was not the young man who died as reported before, dot but some kind of terrifying monster. Li Xingqin thought for a while and then continued. The third child died under strange circumstances. I think we can let this matter go for now. How about that? Wang Tianba said respectfully. Boss, I will listen to you. Li Xingqin nodded with satisfaction, changed the subject, and asked. Tianba, you won't blame me for not taking the initiative to avenge the third child, right? Wang Tianba's body trembled, and his head shook like a rattle. 
I think the leader did the right thing. In this weird and terrifying apocalypse, everyone is living on thin ice. There is really no need to provoke another, a powerful monster. Li Xingqin waved his hand without comment. Wang Tianba understood and turned around to leave. After Wang Tianba left, Li Xingqin sighed helplessly. The so-called scary monster is just an excuse. Everyone knew that the person who killed Zhou Qingming must be the owner of the silver car. A powerful psychic. And he knew Zhou Qingming's strength very well. When the steel and iron bones are activated, the combat power will increase significantly, making him a world-class conquering general. Even if he, Li Xingqin, had to deal with him, it would take a lot of effort. And such a fierce man was actually smashed into pieces and killed instantly on the spot. One can imagine how terrifying the enemy's strength is. The most vicious man, Li Xingqin stood up and looked out the window, his eyes twinkling. He awakens the legendary power, the power of starlight, and can control the power of starlight. With a bright future, he couldn't afford to fight such a terrifying strong man for a dead subordinate. You only have one life. As soon as he thought about it, a starlight burst out from Li Xingqin's hand, illuminating the entire room. Longtanshan Villa area. About two hours later, Yi Feng slowly walked downstairs. A sumptuous dinner is ready. The table in the restaurant is filled with all kinds of delicious dishes. Kung Pao chicken, Mapo tofu, braised pork, boiled fish, sweet and sour pork ribs. The tempting aroma of the food spreads, making people's appetites wet their appetites and make them salivate. Next to the dining table, red wine, beer, and various drinks are available. In addition, there are two plates of washed fruits, placed aside for anyone to take. Brother Yi Feng, you came just in time, I was just going to ask you to eat. Lin Xiaoxiao stood up and said softly. It seems that I came at the right time. Yi Feng said with a smile. Everyone, please take a seat. Yi Feng sat in the main seat. After Yi Feng sat down, Lin Xiaoxiao, Nan Xian, Nan Rian, and Ku Zaodu sat down one after another. It's been a long time since everyone had a formal meal, let alone such a sumptuous meal. Being both signatories of the God of War contract has brought them closer together, and there is no longer any barrier between them. Come on, let's all eat as much as we want. Yi Feng was the first to use his chopsticks. Nan Xian and others stopped being polite and started to move one after another. They were also very greedy. Gobble it up and feast on it. Everyone was dealing with the gluttonous feast in front of them, and no one spoke for a while. Fragrant, so fragrant, Yi Feng was full of praise. After eating for a while, Yi Feng opened a few bottles of beer and said to everyone with a smile, I have used some mysterious means to ensure everyone's safety. So, eat to your heart's content. As soon as the words fell, everyone cheered. Let's drink. Ku Zaodu was extremely happy, with a beaming face. Lin Xiaoxiao and others were also overjoyed. Some people drink red wine, some people drink beer. For a while, people were drinking and drinking, and it was very lively. Woof woof, Xiaobai was also lame, eating next to him with his mouth full of oil. One moment I'll eat chicken drumsticks, and the next moment I'll eat ribs. The wine has passed three rounds, and the food has passed the five flavors. Everyone was already a little drunk, and Yi Feng was also a little dazed. As they exchanged wine, Nanru's hand, like smoke, seemed to touch Yi Feng intentionally or unintentionally, slightly. Yi Feng's heart skipped a beat. Looked up, he glanced at Nan Rian subconsciously. But he saw Nan Rian sitting upright, not looking at Yi Feng, but her face was flushed and she seemed drunk. Yi Feng was a little disappointed. At this moment, Nan Rian cast a flirtatious look. Yi Feng's eyes widened and his heartbeat accelerated. After a while, Nan Ruyan suddenly stood up. Everyone, I'm too drunk. I'll go back to my room to rest. Let's continue. Say it. Nan Ruyan walked towards the room on the second floor. Yi Feng stared at Nan Ruyan who was going away, took a sip of wine and stood up. I'm going to rest first, you guys eat well. On the table. Lin Xiaoxiao watched Yi Feng walk away and sighed secretly in her heart. The vixen named Nan is really good at seducing people. When he raised his head, he never expected to meet Nan Xian's eyes. Both women were a little embarrassed, and they obviously knew each other well. Ku Zaodu was still smiling silly, playing with Xiaobai carelessly, very happy. 
Nan Xian's eyes were slightly closed, and her heart was slightly sour. I can't help but have my thoughts racing. More than an hour ago, Nan Xian and Nan Riang once had such a conversation. Aunt, you, like Yi Feng, right? No, no, Yi Feng is your boyfriend, how could I? It's okay, Yi Feng is such a playboy. There will only be more and more women in the future. If you join me, I will have someone to help me so that I won't be bullied. No, I won't compete with you for a man. Besides, my aunt is no longer. Yi Feng can like me. Girl, you don't have to belittle yourself. Look at that Lin Xiaoxiao is young and has a hot figure. Yi Feng obviously likes that one. You have a huge advantage in this aspect. But, Yin Yin, do you really not mind? I support you, just go ahead and do it. Quote dot 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 quote. When her thoughts returned to the present, Nan Xian lightly pursed her red lips and took another sip of beer. Lin Xiaoxiao endured it again and again, but still couldn't hold it back, and said angrily. Nan Ryan. Dot you must be behind the scenes, right? I hope everyone will support it and subscribe more.